right. Hey, good morning, everyone. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, we are, we've got Steph in the house, uh, my nerdy home, and uh, we're waiting on our lovely Exude Gur. And then, um, <laughs> and then Kara is actually on the road right now. So we've got, uh, we've got some good, some good models for you for to paint today. Steph is working on a Lego build. Is that right? I am. Yeah. Sweet. I am. What I'm working on the uh, Batmobile today. Oh, oh, okay. Because you're you still want to get the Batwang, right? Yeah, I have the Batwing actually. I have both oh, of them. Okay. Today I'm doing the Batmobile. All right, sweet. Um, so I've got Steph's stream up um, on Kick. Uh, so if you guys want to either head over to her stream on Kick or Twitch, you can do that. Um, because she'll be doing Legos. X-ray girl, I don't know what she's doing this morning. She might just be playing video games. We'll see. But, um, I'm start. I'm still starting soon because I'm trying to get my the face together which is totally fine yeah um before we get into it let me say hi to cajun cory what's happening brother we've also got omega man who says good morning say it back good morning omega man thanks dude good to see you uh yeah <laughs> i love you say it back uh josh <laughs> mcdonald morning what's up josh thanks for being here man man it's early eh um and uh lone star wolf says morning y'all morning brother hopefully we get to see lone star wolf and uh cajun and omega all you guys hopefully we get to see y'all in vegas next week um vegas, vegas baby vegas um cajun cory for 21 months unbelievable dude thank you so much three more months and it'll be one or two full years can't believe it um he says morning max and chat let's have a chill build stream absolutely man um yeah steph will be building i'll be painting uh and yeah it should be a good good time so but thanks again for everyone for being here i'm almost done my stream will get <laughs> oh you're good no no rush they just get to hang out with my my uh, dumb face, so it's all good. It doesn't take long for me to put my makeup on. <laughs> I'm, I'm almost you, finished. How long does it take on? you, Matt? Well, I mean, what are we talking? We're talking eyelashes. We're talking blush. We're talking like, you know. I don't. I don't put fake lashes on. Oh no. Okay. All right. Uh, I have to do my guy liner. You know. Oh yes, of course. The guy. <laughs> Can't forget about that. No, no, no. Um, and then Lone Star Wolf celebrates 19 months. Hell yeah, dude! Thank you so much for your membership as well. He says I will be there this year, at Vegas time. Let's go! Can't wait, man. Yeah, I think the last time I saw you was Dallas. Um, so that'll be sweet, brother. Um, oh no, Omega says. Max, I'm literally going to Vegas a couple days after the meetup. I got tickets to see Scorpions. They're like Nerdrotic, but I'll be... Uh, oh, they're like Nerdrotic, but I'll be missing you all. Well, shoot, man. I'm so sorry that you're, you're going to miss us. Um, but have a blast seeing the Scorpions. That'll be fun. Um, shoot, I, I can't believe you'll, you'll miss us by only a few days. Oh, well. We'll be there. We'll, you'll be there in spirit. So Steph, what did you build last time for your Lego? Last time I built, um, I built Paul Walker's car. Oh, that's right, because we were saying family. Yeah. That's right, I forgot. Paul Walker's car was pretty awesome too. I know, it looked dope. It even had the NOS on there and everything, so. It did. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening, Spirian? Morning, brother. All right, so you guys, chat, you guys see this right here? This is what irk, this is what just kills me, right? So I'm base coating the model. I've got my reds and my blues down. It's a little bit messy, right? But that's that can always be cleaned up. But look at this right here. See the shield? I 
I mistakenly got like a little bit of red on the blue. I just like my brush just kind of went and just completely, I just missed, I boofed it. And uh, so now I gotta pour out the blue, completely cover it again, over? fix it up. <laughs> What's up? I have no idea what fell. So are you gonna start over? No, 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 no. I mean. Oh, I see it now. There's just a little spot. Yeah, it's just a little smudge, but it's like. Does that annoy you? How annoying is that? Y yeah, it's one of those things where it's like I have to fix it now. <laughs> <All right. clears throat> uh, yeah, Russ. Now, um, now I'm live. There oh, there we go. We go. Where's Matt? Where's there she Matt? is. There's Matt. And our lovely Steph is live. Wait a second. Why is it showing? Why is it showing my build? Should be Max's build. Where's Max? I'm uh, on the the G uh, YouTube's. Oh my God! I'm so dumb. The YouTube's. I got you. I mean, I could do a a kick, but I don't think anyone would watch. I got you. There you go. There's Max. Now we're talking. I'll put you right here. I'm gonna put you under me. Oh. Okay. Here we go. I'm not used to that, but. Here we go. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Hi, oh, Lewis. KJ Core Experian. Terra Crystal Tazrin. What's happening, everybody? Okay, here we go. Now we go. I need lotion for my hands. <laughs> hands are safe. I almost wore an army shirt today. <gasps> I would. I would have taken you off my stream. I know. That's why I was like, oh, you know what? I need to change my shirt. <laughs> Or I need to send you a Marine Corps shirt, and then that way you don't have to. There you go. You know. Yeah, I wear a Marine Corps shirt. So I, uh, I, I got an Army shirt. Someone gave it to me over at the Universal meetup. Oh, that's and, cool. That's nice of them. Yeah, I, I don't know who it was, um, but yeah, it was a an Army shirt, and I was I was being I was being lazy this morning. I didn't want to change out. I, I wore it to bed, and it, I didn't I didn't want to change out of it. <laughs> I was like, oh, Max might take me off his screen. Oh, yeah. That, that would have been a non-negotiable. Sorry, Steph. <laughs> I love you and all, but, you know, I got to keep my priorities straight. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, Kara would have liked that because Kara married an army man. Ah. A soldier. Dang. Okay. Josh says he's been up since five. Why? It's five. Oh, you know what? Josh was up all night thinking about WrestleMania. A bunch of sweaty men. Oh, yeah. Did you watch that? I did not. I was watching a... I was uh, about it. Did you get, get a chance to watch it? No. I haven't watched wrestling in years. I used to be... I used to be so into wrestling. Um... I had a group of friends that like uh, we we would get together and watch it, and I actually won tickets off the radio to no way sit. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, but I I stopped I stopped watching. Sorry for being late. That's <gasps> okay. Hi. Hi. Good morning. You sound so sleepy. No. I was. I, well, I had two drinks last night, and I haven't drank in a long time, so oh. I am. Uh, I'm saying that I can't handle it anymore. Um, <laughs> X-ray was trying to prepare her liver for Vegas, and uh, it wasn't I, enough. I've been doing it that past month. <laughs> I don't know how people do this on a daily basis. Yeah, it's rough. You said you only had two. I only had two drinks, and that like did oh. me in. Wow. <laughs> What'd you have? I'm a lightweight. Were uh, they, like, I had cocktails. I... Yeah, yeah. It was like two shots of Stoli in total, and that was it. Wow. wow. The girl was drunk and tired. Your girl. The girl. 
Well, yes. I had a lot. What did you drink? I had some whiskey cocktails. So, Twilight New Moon was back in the theater yesterday. Mm-hmm. Shut up! I would have loved yeah. to see that. Oh my god! Yeah. So I, I did a, I did a double feature. I went and saw Monkey Man, and then right after when that was over, uh, I went and saw, I got drunk and saw Twilight. <laughs> I love it. Priorities. I love it. Priorities. Yeah. I would have done that with you if I knew. Well, oh, well, if I was there too. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome! Oh my god! Mm-hmm. Oh, it was so much fun. I was like, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get drunk and just go watch Twilight. And I did that, and everybody in the theater had the same idea because everyone was drinking and just laughing. Oh wow! Well. <laughs> <laughs> it was so awesome. So, and then before that, you know, they had like the previews. So this theater does. Um, does like old movies like once a week and uh the new one is gonna come out too or not the new one but the, the one after that eclipse twilight eclipse is like i think the fourth week the fourth week in in april so i was like i'm coming back i'm gonna do this again that is so freaking this awesome this was a good night <laughs> how fun i'm glad you got to do that yeah i uh after this oh my gosh there we go. I just realized that my desktop sound was off. So oh. now you can hear Max and yeah. X-Ray Girl. Oh, no, oh, no you can way. hear me the entire time. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Lewis, said, Lewis said the audio on MVP and, and K is very low. Ah. Uh, Kara? Yeah. Um, wow, that's too funny. Well, hi, Steph's chat. Sorry you couldn't <laughs> hear us at first, but... Um, yeah, speaking of movies, I actually have to go see a movie right after this. I'm going to go see The First Omen, um, because Chris Gore is going to have his version. Oh, are you part tomorrow. of his Christian panel? Yeah, yeah, so I'm, oh, wow, that's cool. yeah, I'm honored to be part of that. But yeah, we're going to be talking about, um, it's a, it's an all-Christian panel, and we're just going to talk about, you know, Hollywood media's portrayal of Christians and, and why the trope of you know, demonic possession or Christian negligence or satanic influence, whatever it may be, um, why that's Mm -hmm. such a big Hollywood thing for horror films. Um, It'll be me, Melanie Mack, Aaron Sparrow, Odin, Chris, Alan, and Dante. Um, I think that's so cool. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. So I'm, I'm really excited and very grateful that Chris thought of me. So. Um, we love Chris. We do. We love Frank. <laughs> God bless you. Oh God, I don't think I could be triple X ray okay. girl the next this next week. It's gonna be too tiring. Three got... meetups in a row. I oh, know. Well, That's ugh. true. Max, That's what really nights nice. are you going to the meetup? Like all the nights, or I, I know what the um, um. I don't know what. So as of right now, I will be make I will be able to make it to Wednesday, which is the big one. Well, okay. it's the member one, right? That was the one that got sold out. Um, Both are sold out. Oh, good. Okay, cool. Um, I will not make Chris Gore's on Tuesday night. Uh, Thursday, I may drop in for a bit, but Thursday night I'm actually going to be going to Meow Wolf. Remember? Oh, you didn't get to go, actually, because you were sick. I was sick. Yeah. I know. I, I want to go to... You said Thursday you're going to Meow Wolf? Yeah, Thursday night. I think there's a, a group of um, of people that are going to head over to, to Meow Wolf. So oh, I, so jelly. So I think I'm going to go over there for Thursday night. Oh my gosh, Steph, your hat. <laughs> what hat is she wearing? She's wearing a SpongeBob hat. That's too funny. Oh my god. I got That's it. I got so it. Oh, cute. I got it off my someone ordered it off my wish list. And I don't know who. It's amazing. <laughs> Wait, did you put I the fish it. in your emojis? I did. Where is he? I'm, I'm trying to find him. It's it should be there. Let me see. Um, oh, he God stinks. Yeah. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. <laughs> okay, there's the news fish. <laughs> oh man, don't mind me getting amused by SpongeBob memes. 
Um, there he is. But yeah, Ooh. X-ray, because you guys are going to. Um, I mean, this will be fairly similar to the the last couple meetups where you guys almost kind of set up a booth like a convention. Um, yeah. And like, it's just been so packed that people just completely um, surround you guys, which is great for interaction for a lot of the the fans. So that'll be cool. I plan on trying to move and getting one bathroom break at the very least. That's the plan. I think that's a good plan. <laughs> one... I remember last year I couldn't go to the bathroom and I was like, it was funny, but like, I'm like, my bladder, guys, my bladder. If you need security to uh, escort you. Like, oh, oh, if... I'm getting Ooh, security. Max on. security. I mean, because oh, yeah, I don't. Not even my husband will do this for me, so. Well, you know, at the same time, Mark is like, he's dealing with money. You're dealing with the merch and saying hi to the fans. He's been doing that last year. He was just outside talking. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, then never That's mind. right, he was. <laughs> <laughs> My own husband. He's just like, yeah, you're fine. <laughs> he's like, you got this. You're, you'll, you'll have fun. You're a professional. Yeah. You're, you don't need my help. I think um, uh, I did have a little help uh, with like tugs the year last year, but the year before I had um, uh, Cam from Flagrant, and I don't think he's going this year, so, which is unfortunate. But you know, it's fine. <laughs> oh, Flagrant's not going this year that i'm aware of unless he's changed his mind i don't know people keep changing their plans to be honest i can't keep up that happens a lot um i think a lot of people wait till the last minute just because they're not sure with work or with family um but i know like at least it, for me it's so much cheaper to to get the hotel like months 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 in advance um so it just sh mm -hmm. saves me uh time and money but now, um... Lewis is trolling Max. Oh no, Why, what are you saying? He said, all I'm hearing is that MVP is an escort now. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh No. No, no, no. My body is... Yep. Your body is what? Is, is not for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm waiting. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll protect. I will <laughs> escort other people and protect them but not escort in that manner so mm. okay that's fair <laughs> so yeah if you need a bathroom break just be like mvp yeah give me like the secret signal mvp i need to pee yes <laughs> emphasis on the p emphasis on the p and uh yeah and we'll we'll clear a path for you make way or risk it for explode. Uh, oh, sorry. I was just going to say, Risk It for a Biscuit celebrates one month of a membership. Thanks for being here for a month, brother. I appreciate yeah. your membership. He says, good morning to all Vegas travelers. Safe journeys. Risk It, thank you morning. so much for that. I appreciate that. I leave for Vegas tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. Safe travels to you. Me too. What time's your flight at? Oh, my God. It's so early. It's, uh... At like five in the morning, <laughs> it's really early. <laughs> and then, oh my god! So, are you even gonna go to bed at all? Yeah, I'll go. Well, I mean, I'm a night owl, so like, <laughs> I want to say I will for maybe a couple of hours, um, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Hail, uh, psychotic mongoose. Thanks for being here. And then, uh, Spirian says, well, I was in the army too, sir. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. We've got some army brats here. Yeah. You are me. Spirian, do you watch, don't you do a, a veteran stream, Max? Do you do a veteran stream? Um, I've With done one before. Do oh, okay. But I, I don't do them regularly, so... I'm um, I'm so upset because this Wooble, they, their instructions suck on this because it's all videos. Oh, what do, what are you building uh, this morning? Something for Steph. Oh, oh, that's sweet. <laughs> um, I was gonna say I told the chat I was wondering if you were gonna play um, 
What is it? Baldur's Gate or uh, or Hell Divers this Dogma. morning? Oh gosh, no, 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 no. That would be too much. Or not around <laughs> you. <laughs> You'd be like, <laughs> fuck, get everyone in the the ship. And <laughs> Steph and I are just painting. Um. And so a whole week without Stephanie streaming late night. I'll still stream. I just uh. Oh, here I, it just won't be like my regular streams, like mm. TikTok and all that stuff. I'll still yeah. stream. We're we're trying to, because I know I, I feel a lot of FOMO whenever these events happen without me, and so it's it's always really nice when uh you know you get the streams to help you feel like you're still there, even though you're not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh my God, Kara's whipped. Oh, it's it's abbreviated. It just said cracked. Uh, I can't read your whole name. Kara's whip crack minion. Oh, oh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thank you. You have the numbers have for an all female hell hell diver stream. Us Boy. nerds would love it. That's why we're nerds. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, that would be fun. That would be fun. Um, do you play hell? No, you don't. I I do not. <laughs> <laughs> but I can. I'll get it. Oh. Uh, it would become Hell Dive Hers. Ooh. Her. Um, I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> chat, would you be okay with that? Hell Dive Hers. Hell Dive Hers. Dive hers. All I, uh, I'll cats. get it and play it. Jay Hellstorm has been trying to get me to play that game. It's fun, honestly. Really? I, was, uh, I, I really I was, like it. I was at the bar the other day and they had, um, they had, uh, oh my gosh, what's that movie? The movie that everyone compares Hell Divers to. Starship Troopers. Uh, Starship Troopers. Starship Troopers. Yeah, they had Starship Troopers playing. Nice. Oh, really? Yeah. That's fun. Ooh. Ooh, someone's music what? is going. That was, that was, what is that? Hold on. Uh, check. Omega Man mean? says, Max, if you were an escort, I'd be a loyal customer. Bros helping bros. <laughs> <laughs> bros helping bros? Oh Thank my god. Thanks, bro. Escort. I appreciate it. Uh, you know what? I'd be a good bro. If I, like, an escort bro? Like, hey man, I just need a bro for the day. I'd be like, you know, I got you. A bro for the day? <laughs> <laughs> nice. We'll go do bro shit. Experience. Spearian with a $50 donation. Thank you, Spearian. Spearian says, you know what that was, Steph. I know, but it's covered. It's covered. So I, I wasn't sure. <laughs> Thank you, Spearian. Oh, my gosh. My Oh, Tara Crystal, I need to... Am I supposed to clean out the filter in this air purify... In this air, air thing? Because... Oh, my allergies have been crazy, so... I actually call. I had to call to get the filters in my place, like uh, changed out. Oh really? My allergies, yeah, my allergies started getting really bad again. I oh, heard wow. that the allergies this year is like really bad from a lot of people. Yeah, everywhere it's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. I'm one of those people that's just allergic to the air. Oh, Ooh, that sucks. You didn't have asthma as a kid, did you, then? I did. Oh shoot. That yeah. I, I grew out of it though. I don't have it anymore. Oh, that's you good. You can grow that's... out of it. Yeah, I grew out of it, but. X ray, do you have bad allergies? Nope. Are you guys allergic I... to uh, to any like Just foods? Just dogs. Oh, okay. Wait. And peaches. I know. Oh. <laughs> uh, any nut fruits um, I'm allergic to. But it's not like a bad allergy. I just get like tingly lips and. Uh, bigger tongue. Tara Crystal says it's springtime, so allergies would be worse right now. Yeah. Absolutely. Bigger lips and a tingly tongue. That's what some women pay for to have surgically done, so. Oh, God. What? Yeah. <laughs> Stuff's like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, some people be crazy, to be fair. <laughs> yes, yeah. Um, Josh says, while you pee x-ray, I'll sit at your booth with a x-ray girl name tag and use my best Asian accent. 
Thank you. Josh and I were tag team. Yep. The last meetup, we found like a random Asian girl that was there at the party, and it was so cute because she was just like, "Why, so much fun? What's happening?" And I'm like, oh, "This is a thing. You're here at Disney. Don't worry about it." <laughs> <laughs> She's like, "These people look kind of look out of place. It makes sense now." <laughs> Nerds at a bar. That's Nerds at a bar be crazy. Yeah. And, and, and at a club bar, it's not even just like a regular. Yeah. For real. I mean, I felt out of place. And I have frequented bars before. <laughs> so, <gasps> Meow Wolf on Thursday? Um, In the evening. I, I no. know that there's going to be an erdrotic, uh Thursday night thing, but um, I think I might do Meow Wolf on Thursday night because uh, it's a friend's like birthday or something. So, mm -hmm. uh, I but like I said, I may come by the bar uh, Thursday Later. just to just to drop in and just say hi. Um, yeah. But I'll definitely do the Wednesday one because that's like I know I know that's probably like the main one. So. Yeah. <clears throat> oh man. But I always kind of feel bad because like everyone gets stuck. Don't feel behind. bad. You also, like, are super helpful at these things. I remember yeah. last year, you helped Melissa a little bit, so... Yeah. Oh, yeah, we She's... we helped her out with the uh, name tags, because there were just so name many. Um, mm -hmm. And that way it frees her up to do so much other stuff, right? Frees her up to go to the bathroom. Yes, Here, that too. The super <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. And he's, she's, like, right there, too, <laughs> when yeah. she's working the door. So, um, so yeah, I... I I have no, I, I love helping out anywhere I can, um, but so yeah, I'll, pr I'll probably help out Wednesday and then Thursday I'll see if I can just kind of swing by and say hi to everyone, but. I, Mike Hill right. says two Lego sets have been taken off your wish list. Yes. This one, this one was taken off my wish list because I actually bought it. <laughs> I wanted to oh. build it, so I bought it. <laughs> You're like, I'm not waiting anymore. I want, I wanted to build well I was worried uh, that it would uh it would get retired. Oh uh, uh, yeah, I was worried that it would get retired, so I, I bought it um because it's the eighty nine Batmobile and I really wanted one. So I just I went ahead and just just got it for myself. Did it. Did it. Nice. Mm -hmm. I wanna just make another Lego. It. I saw that uh, Costco had like the flowers one, but I don't really like the look of it. Like if I'm going to get flowers, I'm not going to get a Lego flower set. <laughs> I was actually, I was at the Lego store and I saw, um, well, I was at Lego land. So I was at Lego land, um, like the gift shop and, and, um, and uh, what do you call it? I saw the flowers there. They had, they had them built. And I was like, okay, they're they're actually kind of cute, but I like Legos. So. Are they? Oh, are they actually kind of cute? I don't know. From the box, it just didn't look as cute. So they're cute. Like the succulents are adorable. The way this, um, because the succulent build, it looks big, but it's actually not. Um, I actually kind of want the succulents. <laughs> so if I yeah. see it across, I'll make a crap for you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Steph, when you said I like Lego. It was so cute. I just reminded. It, it's like, I like Nintendo. <laughs> it's just, I like Lego. I like Lego. I like Lego. I like building. Oh, like, like it's all so nostalgic, yeah. you know. Like I love that about that stuff. I'm gonna try to finish. I'm gonna try to finish this car in two hours while we're live. Because last week when oh, Tara wow. finished hers and she had more pieces than me, I was like. Man, I build so slow. Kara also, she's like a crafter. She's like a hobby master. So don't don't feel too bad because she does this stuff like on the regular. Um, got like little hands, little quick little hands. Yes, yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, Basically like an elf. Steph, Love you you, Kara. you and Kara are probably the same height, right? Um, are you sure? I think she's like just she's like a hair taller, like a oh hair goodness. taller. So yeah, you both have little good good hobby hands. Yeah, we have good <laughs> hobby hands. Wait, actually, what are you doing? Something for you. 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like, Do you see wibble? it? I see it, but I don't know what it is. Does it say a wibble? wibble is um like a, a crochet animal. And oh, that's okay. what I'm making. <laughs> I want to try crocheting. It's it's fun. I love crocheting personally. And I just realized this is not really in camera. Oh, that's my legs. Um, but it, it definitely takes an art. Yeah. Um, and it's all in the wrist. Mm. All in the wrist. All mm. in the wrist. All Ma in the wrist. Max, no. The way Max said, mm. Oh, I, I didn't say that. I, yes, you did. You're like, mm. All in the wrist. I, I was inquiring. <laughs> I was saying, hmm, interesting. All in the wrist. Mm -hmm. Interesting technique. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. You think you'd be good at crocheting with your <laughs> with, with the power yeah. in the wrist? Uh... Power in the wrist. <laughs> <laughs> or yeah, how how would I feel if oh, someone was like, goodness. Max, you'd be really good at crocheting because it's like all in the wrist, so you'd be really good. <laughs> it's like, uh, how right? do I respond to that? Yeah. Thank you, question mark. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, Cajun Corey says Max's professional escort name would be MV Penis. I mean, yep. not yep. wrong. At least we have a name already lined up. So. Yep. Ready to go. Uh, world renowned MV Penis. The <laughs> world renowned. People come from all over the world for the escort MV Penis. Um, the DJ money. Spirian for ten dollars. My gosh, let's see, let's get, get some. Uh, <laughs> DJ Airhorn up in here. Thank you, Spirian. That is awesome. Ten dollars, man. Thank you so much. He says, "Hippo character spins around in his care, arms flung up in the air." Oh, is that the super? Yeah, okay, that's the super sticker. All right. I was like, "Wait, is he saying that?" But no, that's just what the <laughs> super sticker is. Um, well, how how cool? Thanks, man. I appreciate the ten. Really gratefully. Uh, er grateful for that so thanks for your support brother um yay period. but yeah heck says hey steph aka my fellow san antonio native what's up what's up what's up <laughs> yo, yo, yo. <laughs> wow broken profit for five says knitting is so hot oh. yeah I, I i got the grandma vibes mm. i know i want to try it I always look at that and I'm like, oh, it looks so, it just looks, it looks relaxing, you know? It is, it is. And you can put like a, a TV show on that you've seen before and watch it. And I don't know, I think it's enjoyable. Yeah, it looks really relaxing. X-Ray, are you now going to become part of the radicalized knitting community? I'm all, I've always actually been part of the knitting community, but mm. just not... I didn't know there was a community to be part of. I know, right? Like there a Facebook. Is, uh, yeah. yeah, there is. Like, I find that so strange. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, you talked to... um, What's her name? Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, Carrie Smith? Smith? Carrie, Carrie Smith, yeah. Not in a while. She'll tell you. Uh, she'll tell you all about. Oh, the about the knitters. Knitters. Oh the the they're knitter. Crazy. They are freaking crazy. I can't believe that actually happened. Like. Oh right. They're, they're so um. Toxic uh, knitters. Political? Who thought knitting would be political? <laughs> I know. From what I remember, like, that. that is... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was gonna say that's just wild. Yeah. From what I remember, I think Carrie had mentioned that it started when someone had made a quilt of like Captain America or like a USA quilt and she put Captain America on there and like everyone just got so butthurt about it. A am I right in saying that? At least that's what I thought it how it started. Yep. And they like, like ostracized mm -hmm. her from the community and everything. God, isn't that insane? That's Even pathetic. the knitters. Man. I just can't believe that knitters are that crazy. I know, about right? Politics. For real. I also said that Basically about. Basically politicized. Oh. These days. Mm, yeah. 
It makes me sad. Blessed art thou. Thank you. Thank you, Louis. <laughs> yes, good Louis says, goddamn knitters. I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Those, those dirty, filthy knitters. <laughs> knitters. Dang knitters. Dang knitters. Oh my god. We're gonna get so oh. clipped. I mean, I get clipped all the time. Psychotic, are you here? Yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, Psychotic is here. Um, <laughs> thank you, Seth. Well, Stephanie, yarn and needles are not expensive, and you can find videos on getting started. I, I know. Yeah. If anyone wants like a, a, a kit of just like all the different types of um, uh, size crochet needles or or would you prefer knitting? I don't know. They're both very different types of um, technique. Crochet is nice because it's one. Knitting, if you drop one stitch, you have to go back and it's like much more of a headache hmm. than um, a crochet because you're only dealing with one loop always for the most part with crochet. So I've actually tried to uh, do a blanket with like oh. really big yarn and yeah. it was supposed to be like one of those um like no needles you just oh with your arms yeah you just tie they look so fun <laughs> i know you just you just tie it in a loop and you just keep going until you make your blanket and i did that but my blanket turned out like really wonky and it was really small too so oh. i gave it to my brother for his baby i oh sorry sorry chat uh oh, camera um if you ever want to learn um, in Vegas, I can teach you the basics of knitting or crocheting. Um, we just have to get the implements. So I don't have knitting needles currently because I don't like knitting. Uh, but if you if you want, we can go to like a Michaels or something. I think uh, there's going to be a couple people in the party that have cars. We can go find some place to buy that stuff if you want. Oh yeah. I will do like uh, a, a late night crochet stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will, uh... The ways of the gilf. <laughs> oh gosh. I will have my car if you guys wanna um want me to escort you guys, so <laughs> Oh MV Penis offering his escort. services. Yes, yeah. The MV penis at your service. And we'll be doing uh, a Michael's run or a Hobby Lobby run. So, uh, speaking of MV Penis, do you guys have any nicknames? Were you guys given any nicknames in high school or college or anything like that? Yes, I was, and I don't want to say it because then the cat, the the cats, the chat's gonna make fun of it. How mu how much of a super chat will we need for you to say it? Ah, <laughs> why doesn't the chat try to guess it and then yeah, you'll just say yes or no? That way it's not like too much pressure. Yeah. You could just say yes or no. Okay. okay or you're go getting ahead and warmer guess. or colder. Okay. I, th I don't think they'll ever guess it, honestly. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. They'll Can you give us any hints? It. Jonathan would... just says, say it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, you guys just want to know so bad. <laughs> 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 um, my nickname was Space Cadet because I definitely spaced out a lot in mid conversation. <laughs> Steers uh, just Steers was just like how much? <laughs> he'll drop it. Well, you know it. it. That's up to you if you want to name a price. <laughs> um. So yeah. X-ray. It's funny that yours was Space Cadet because that's that's what we would call um, men and women in the Marine Corps who were just like out to lunch. Like if they just like did not know their left boot from their right boot, we'd just be like, yeah, he's he's a Space Cadet. He's he's a Space Ranger or something. Like he's just completely oh gone. God. He's like not here. So um, that's pretty it's funny. Worse so, than purple crayon eater. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. I guess, um, <laughs> I know, at least you heard that kid. <laughs> the crayon eater. Or uh, or mouth breather. We liked using mouth, mouth breather, breather a lot too. That's a really funny one. Wait, why so X ray, but you So like in, in high school and college, 
you were really book smart though right or were you so like just in conversations you would just kind of space out is that what you mean book smart definitely but i think that it took a while for social um x-ray girl to really come out because uh i actually was super awkward for most of my life really okay yeah yeah and i think, I think a lot of us were honestly yeah except max. And, except max he was a little social butterfly him <laughs> Oh gosh, how do you guys know? Snort? You didn't, you didn't, you didn't, y'all didn't know me. Y'all don't know me in high school or college. <laughs> y'all don't know me. <laughs> but see, Lewis says the shorty shoddy. No. Oh, that's actually cute. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like it too, but no, I wish. I wish. Was it just gat? <laughs> Was it gat? No. Gat. Gat. Mexicuti? No, I wish. Oh, that's funny. These are way that's better adorable. than. That's you know. adorable. I know. Yeah, they're a lot better than what it was. <laughs> I know. It's always like the nicknames that you actually get are always the ones you're like, eh, I don't like that. I don't want that one. <laughs> um. But yeah, sorry. You were saying uh, books, book smart, or uh, but it took you a little bit of time to like kind of get out of your shell. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. That happens to some people. That's yeah. normal, right? I think that's normal. Actually, because I worked in the spa industry, I think that's when I actually like really uh, worked my social skills. Yeah, uh, talking to people mm. almost all day. Yeah, it was good though. I because at the beginning, oh my god. Conversation, weather, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm still like kind of awkward, especially when talking to new people. I think it depends. Like, if I'm ready for it, like, I have to be kind of in the headspace for it. Mm -hmm. um, because sometimes, you know, some people are easier to talk to and some people aren't. And, you know, it does take effort to have a, a conversation at times. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you do what you can. Being an introvert uh, and then having to be an extrovert for a long period of time um, really drains that social battery. But as long as you're Aww. aware of it and as long as you can like, you can kind of tell, oof, I need a break here, you know, um, <laughs> I think just knowing yourself and when you need to like use the restroom or just kind of go outside and hang out for a bit and just kind of get away and then you can go back in and you know converse with people because it really to have a conversation with people that you not may not necessarily know um it, yeah like i said it can be really draining but um but yeah so, sometimes you meet people and it's like effortless and it's like man this is so easy to talk to you this is fantastic right so, yeah um, mm-hmm yeah. Absolutely. It takes uh, a lot of time and experience getting to know people and understand their conversational tones and personalities and whatnot. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, we're all friends here. We all know. We understand it. Yeah. Lewis Some says, of those days I got, are long. Lewis says, I got the nickname Chubby Chaser for reasons <laughs> for reasons <laughs> nice i respect it i respect uh, it he's just watch i've given her these names and i bet her nickname was some boring shit like specky stuff no it had it has actually nothing to do with like my uh, appearance uh, or anything name. yeah nothing it was just uh it was a nick it was just a nickname that they gave me i, I have no I, honestly i can't i don't even know where it came from I have no idea where it came from, but yeah, it was just a nickname. Spearance is going to high school in the 90s and rap and hip hop was at its best. I was called Drape Doggy Dog. Because <laughs> yeah. Snoop's first record came out in 93. And then I was called Drape Dog when Snoop went to Snoop Dog because my last name is Draper. What's up, Drape Doggy Dog? Drape I'm going to start calling dog. you that, Spearance. Drape Doggy Dog. I love that. Drape Let's go. Doggy Dog. <laughs> Let's go. That, that's awesome. 
people in chat what else is uh anyone's nicknames i'm curious um this never became a nickname of mine but one of my guys in football um he would always ask has has no one really called you beastly priestly yet and i said nope so oh that, my god that would work priestly. yeah so i mean it definitely works it just never caught on it was just never like i don't know well make sure your girlfriend in the future calls you beastly priestly mm. yeah yeah i would be mm -hmm. like ma'am please only address me by this <laughs> <laughs> this is my name this is my name now. <laughs> no i mean for her i don't know if she would want to say mv penis or beastly priestly <laughs> <laughs> um, I think she will. We'll make it happen. If yeah, well, if she's the right one, maybe she'll be like, "Oh yeah, that's all I'm calling you by now." <laughs> uh, sleep recently. I did actually have a girlfriend in college who, her and her friends would joke about my name because my full name is Maxfield von Priestley, right? Mm -hmm. And so they were always yeah. like, "That sounds like royalty." And I was like, yeah. It does, though. <laughs> I tell you. And so, and it you, does. yeah, you guys yeah. have said that before. So they yeah. would always, whenever they would, like, we'd see each other at lunch or, like, we'd go out to dinner with her friends or whatever. And the friends would always come up with something funny. So, like, one night it would be, oh, hi, Baron Maxfield von Priestley. Um, <laughs> and then the next week it would be hello duke maxfield von priestley duke. uh and then the week after that it would be you know it just some every single time it was some different title um and I they would never it. actually just call me max so that was really funny i freaking love it when i was playing soccer another uh title for me was a transfer because i would never hold the ball for too long it would be like i get a kick <laughs> okay <laughs> transfer that's what they called you yeah because I, I i hated having the ball but i was really good at passing it <laughs> i guess that makes transfer it good over here that's funny. Transfer! <laughs> transfer, transfer, transfer. So, um, you didn't transfer from like another school into into no. that school? No, well, I mean, I went to uh, like art school, I guess, if that counts as a transfer, but mm -hmm. not really. I've never really changed schools much. Hmm. Um, I changed enough. schools in the middle of high school. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. That really that sucks, okay. actually. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's tough. No, no, it was fine. It was actually my decision. So I, so I went to, um, like, I think chat knows this. I went to uh, private school uh, all my life. And, like, for high school, I went to an all-girls high school. Um, because there aren't very many, like, where I'm at. There aren't very many. Um, at least I don't, I don't know if there are any more. But there were like three or four private high schools that you could go to and two of them were all girl high schools oh wow um and one of them was co-ed and i wanted to i was a cheerleader and i wanted to cheer at like football games and have that high school experience it had nothing to do with academics <laughs> i was just like i want to cheer at a football game that's it. <laughs> so, you know what? That was it. I respect I want to cheer it. at a football game. I respect so, the hell out of it. Yep. So my mom uh, did a transfer for, uh, yeah, I wanted that high school experience to be able to like cheer at a football game. Yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. You could do I've... that at you could do that at uh, the the school that I went to. So we have so we had like there's two all girl private schools and we have like our brother school. So there's two all boy high schools. And um, I, you could do, if you were a cheerleader at, for like one of those, the boys schools, then you could cheer at their football game. But uh, you have to start off as like a JV cheerleader, not a varsity cheerleader. And I was like, I'm way too good to be JV. So <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so I'm I way wow. too good. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I told my mom, I was like, no, I don't, I don't want to be here. I want to go to an all girl. To, to the co-ed so I could just uh so I could just start out at, at varsity I <laughs> so love she it. Was like, okay. that is amazeball I know my <laughs> worth I'm not gonna be down here with the peasants JV Ugh. 
<laughs> yeah, I didn't want to start at JV. I was like, no way. <laughs> and even like, well, because you, you have to do tryouts, right? And yeah. they wanted me on varsity when I tried out. Wow. Um, but That's the coach cool, wouldn't though. let. Yeah, the coach wouldn't let them. So I was like, okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna go to a different school. Yeah. Wow, they missed out. Um. Oh, nice. Riz says uh, he got his workout in for the day. Hell yeah. Good, good, good. Ooh. Yeah, I, I feel like. I did not get in. What's up? Where are your cheerleading yeah. videos? They're locked away. Mm. Josh says his nickname with my with his ex was Bug. It's from the film The Hours. Have you guys ever seen the film The Hours? No. I've, I've never seen that. I've, I've awesome. heard of like Love Bug before. Josh, like, you're you're dating someone, and you're like, hey, love bug. Yeah. Um, That's adorable, too, that kind of... Love bug. Yeah. My love bug. I, I think it says that a lot. Mandy. Mandy oh, Summers? she does say that. Well, in her southern accent, it works, absolutely. Yeah. Love bug. Hey. Right, I can't do it. <laughs> hey there, love bug. How's it I going, was just like, bug? It's adorable when she does it, too. Yeah. Unlike I me. Mm -hmm. Does not sound so cute. Mm -hmm. Um. So, are you guys into like your men calling you like, "Hey, Schmoopy, hey, Poopy Bear, Push Moopy, Poopy, Whoopy Bear"? <laughs> so, I mean, I'm okay yeah. with it if it happens, but it, it uh, like we we use honey. Like, yeah. Over boring. <laughs> honey, sweetheart, yeah. babe. Yeah. yeah, we don't have I like, like a mm. special nickname. Do you, like all the nicknames. Give me all the nicknames. All of them. <laughs> all the nicknames. Yeah. Give me all the nicknames. I'm here for it. All right. All right. Well, I'm going to have to start. I'm going to have to come up with some nicknames for you guys now. <laughs> it won't I mean, be Schmoopy My name Whoopy is Bear, a nick nickname, to be fair. Ah, uh, yeah. I guess that's true. Yeah. <laughs> I can have a nick nickname. Yes. Of course. <laughs> well, you're... Your first name is just X-Ray Girl. We'll just go with that. I mean, that's just... Yeah. Yeah. Sure. We, or yes. your your first name is X-Ray and your last name is Girl. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I put for every account when I, like, sign on anyway, so... Yeah, that's smart. <laughs> Anonymity. Lewis says my ex's nickname was Squiddy. I wonder why. Squiddy? Squiddy. Huh. Interesting. Um, There's a reason. What's that noise? That was Squidward's laugh. Oh, <laughs> oh I was like, oh, did someone die? <laughs> uh, Smooth the DJ just became a member. Yo. Hail to you, man. Thank you so much for becoming a member. Um, part of Max's escort team. I mean, what? No, I'm just kidding. What? What? Max's um, escort team. Ooh. Yeah. There you go. What your and members then... should be called. Yeah, right. Yes! Oh Max my is, god. Max is escort. Max is, Ma yes! Max, Max is escort. Oh god. Josh, oh, how boy. do you think of that? Do you think that should be <laughs> y'all's new name? Uh, members? Yeah. The new member's name. What do y'all think of the chat? I like it. Ooh, yep. Now we're talking. Yeah, Smoo. Uh, says your highness Maxfield von Priestley. Yep, that was another one. Your highness. Your highness. Your highness. It's very. Yeah. Yes, it is, it, your name is very like regal. Like, right. are you it part is. of like? It, it's like an affluent name. Like, are you a part of an affluent family? Where are the von Priestleys this morning? Where do they <laughs> dine for brunch? <laughs> Uh, I wish. <laughs> My name dying. is Alistair. Where, where, where do you dine for lunch? Where do you summer? <laughs> we have summoned you know the Von, we have is, summoned the bond priestlies. It is the Von part of your name that makes it like super like regal sounding. Mm -hmm. I, I I agree with that. Like Maxfield Priestley is still very, you know, uh, regal, but the Von just like. Oh, that's what does it. That's what brings it together. 
So, yeah. Name has a Vaughn in it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and yeah, everyone thinks that Vaughn Priestley is actually my last name, but Vaughn is my middle name. So, because uh, yeah, oh. could you imagine if I have a, a middle name on top? So it'd be like Maxfield Klaus Von Priestley or something. <laughs> that'd be wild. <laughs> Klaus. That'd be like too much. <laughs> like, okay, dude. You have like four names. Chill out. Daddy Chill. Daddy Chill. Uh, uh Spirian asks, oh, awesome. were you a captain in the Marine Corps? I was, Spirian. Uh, I got out as a lieutenant. Uh, and then I was, uh, I think, I think they like posthumous, posthumously? I, I, I don't know how to pronounce the, the word correctly. Posthumously? Yeah. Um, grant you rank as captain. So like on my military identification card, it says 03, which is the military designation for captain. So. Cool. Yeah. I don't know how they do stuff like that. Um, I think just because for like, um, God bless you. Um, I think for like yeah. reserve, like if I were to be in the reserves, I would technically be in 03, but, um, but yeah. Spirian says, Vaughn was given to German royalty. What's funny is that the Vaughn of my name actually comes from my Swedish side of the family. So, um, it, I'm, I'm not actually German. I'm Swedish, Irish, and Scottish. So. Mm, huh? Interesting. Hmm. All the whites. I love uh, it. Oh, I'm like uh, so white. Tech, it's, it's awesome. Tech <laughs> says, thank you for your service, Captain. The Marines kick out. Oh. Okay. I, I have the nickname now. We'll just call you Captain. Oh, okay. Captain, my Captain. Um, well, thank you to whoever um, said that in chat. I appreciate that. Yeah. I, I, it was. I would never change that experience in my lifetime. It was uh, incredible, and I learned a lot. So, so humble. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> thanks. No. But yeah, I give you a big salute, sir. Lone Star says, T "P.S. Tug says hi, and that she's prettier than you." I agree with that. <laughs> and hello to Tugs. So. Uh, is she playing a game right now? Maybe? Oh, maybe. It's so like, why is he saying that? <laughs> yeah, I was like, maybe, uh, yeah, I don't know. But morning, Tugs. Yeah, hope. Prolapsed. Tell her goodbye. Prolapsed anal blister. Welcome. Oh, my, God. Oh my lord. That's disgusting. <laughs> Ew. He said, my bro is in the Marines. Nice. We Hell work yeah. out together. Semper Fi okay, prolapsed anal blister. <laughs> Like it's just like, <laughs> weird saying that name. It's it's not you. It's the name. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Josh says his nicknames were Poo McDizzy. McDizzy's my favorite. McDizzy. Like yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> and then my straight friend named me Butt Betsy. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Butt Betsy the Butt Pirate. Let's see. That's funny. Nasty. Nasty. <laughs> wow. Josh says the Maxfield gives me a certain dandiness. Uh, excuse me, sir. You mean randiness. R that's what it is. Randiness. Mm. Uh, it's the Vaughn that Calm gives down, it a regal man. quality. Maxfield is pretty based. I don't know. Maxfield is a strong name. Not dandy. It is. Where did your parents get that name from? Like, was it like someone they knew or? Um, so Maxfield Parrish is a famous artist, um, like a like a painter. And uh, he is an absolute, like he is one of the most incredible artists I've ever seen. And my mom is actually a painter as well. She does art. So oh. my dad well. wanted to name me Max. And my mom already knew of Maxfield Parrish, the famous artist. So they said, well, why not do Maxfield? Because it's, you know, my my shortened name would be Max, but my full name would be Maxfield. Um, mm. The Vaughn okay. comes from my Swedish heritage. And then Priestley was of English descent. But I believe we changed it when my ancestors came over from Ireland. So... 
uh, yeah, if you look up Priestley, it is a very English name, but our initial name was like McDougal or McTaggart or something, right? So we changed it on the way over to kind of not be so... And out. Yeah, exactly. So we chose Priestley. So I think th- I think that is where um, most of my heritage from my name comes from. So. Cool. Mohel Moda, what's up? That's pretty awesome. Hey Nadia, good to see you here. Thanks for being good in the morning, chat Nadia. and shrimping. Love shrimp. Shrimp sounds so good. Love we, love us some shrimpers. Shrimpers. Love shrimp. Uh, oh, Josh. So you're like, you're like a uh, mauler then, because Josh says that he's Welsh. Look at that. Oh. English, you Scottish, and Welsh. Welsh accent. Sir? Oh, a, a Welsh accent. Yeah, I want to hear Josh do a Welsh accent. That would be pretty funny. Yeah. All right. So. Digging that hat. Thank you. Someone sent it to me. I don't know who. Because it didn't have a a label or anything. Hmm. I always feel bad when people do that because I'm like, I want to thank you, whoever it was. I know. I don't... It didn't have a label. So I have no idea who sent it. The it's hat. now my favorite hat. I was going to say that now hat my is favorite hat. pretty dope. <laughs> I love it. It might, it's, I'm, it might take the place of the MVP hat. <gasps> You know what? I know. Oh, no. I know. You're heartbroken right now. You know what? I'll, <laughs> I'll allow it. I'll allow it. It's SpongeBob. A, it's a SpongeBob hat. It's better than MVP. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I'll allow it. What? <laughs> I always just think of uh, that fish who he goes, wait, where's where's my drink? And he's like, y- your what? And he goes, my diet, Dr. Kelp. <laughs> What'd you do to my drink? <laughs> diet Dr. Kelp? Oh my Dr. god. <laughs> my diet Dr. Kelp. Like he just continues to get angrier about it. How could you forget my drink? <laughs> that is the best fish in all of like television. Such a good Amazing character. Fun. So much range oh. and depth. I love it. Jonathan says, oh no, Steph speaking blasphemy against the MVP app. It's all right. It's all right. Like I said, I'll, I'll allow it. Just this one time. Just this one time. <laughs> <laughs> just one time. That just... next stream, but you better be wearing that camel hat, yeah, bro. Right. <laughs> just this once. But Baron Maxfield von Priestley will not allow such such insolence. Insolence. <laughs> <laughs> I wear I wear Max's hat whenever like I don't do my hair. So like normally this morning I would I would have been wearing it backwards, but my hair was uh, it, it wasn't too bad, so I, I didn't wear a hat. Um, but whenever my hair is like you know because you don't wash your hair every day. Yeah. Um, yeah, we don't wash our hair every day, so it when it gets a little bit just a ta- a touch greasy, I'll put a hat on because it looks like really it looks really flat. My hair ends up looking really flat, so. And Max's like hat is perfect because I wear it backwards and it looks really good. It's very comfortable. And it's really comfortable too. You want go to Max's website. Sure he has. Yeah, get yourself a hat. Them. They're like the most comfortable hats. Oh well, thank you guys. Yeah, the uh, link is in my description uh, for the MVP hats if you guys want to check those out. Um, yeah, Josh wears it all the time on my stream, so. Mm-hmm. They're really comfortable. Nadia says, "I love my MVP hat. No joke, most most comfortable hat I own. Look at that! Hell yeah!" There you go. Thank you, Smoo, for popping that link in. Oh, cool! Thank you, Smoo. I appreciate that. Uh, or- Hokey's asked what made me want to crochet. This. It's Emilio. His name is Emilio. 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 That's a cute name. Yeah. Because I'm bringing a, the elephant that I made for Tugs a oh. while back. And then this one, Turtle. Turtle, Turtle. 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 
Mm -hmm. Oh my god, one of my favorite blurbs some people play, I think, uh, is is total sex one. <laughs> and then it oh, that when you told me. <sighs> that the one. What? <laughs> yeah, the Have turtle you never sex. Heard turtle oh. Sex? oh, oh. <laughs> yes. Okay. Never mind. Say less. It's so funny. <laughs> Say no more, fam. Uh, <laughs> He's like, I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I uh, I have seen that, and it's yeah, it's pretty funny. Oh, oh there no. it is. There it is. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, that's so funny. Oh my god. Thank you, Spirian. I can't believe you have that. That's great. It's a blurb. I love yeah. it. Blurb. <laughs> I missed I missed a Lego piece. Shit. Oh no. Get it. What is uh, what is the worst habit that you guys have? Uh, I used to bite my nails, not anymore. Mm. Like when you were nervous, or just when you were bored? I was a nail biter. No, when I was I was nervous. Mm -hmm. um, I would say my worst habit: chew and ice. Oh, that's not that's not a bad habit. I mean, that doesn't ruin your teeth or anything, right? I don't know. I have no idea. Is it? I have no idea. So I'm counting right now. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say, do you have to count yeah. like stitches whenever you're doing that? Yeah, or? you do. Oh, and I'm trying to make sure I don't have too many stitches, so because the the, <sighs> pa the pattern on this is very specific to get the curl right for the the turtle, so. I want to get it right for Missy over here. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, my worst habit currently. I don't know. Whenever I look in the mirror, I want to pop my blackheads. Oh, I it's do just that. Like Compulsive, you're just like, I, I just want to look it. at it. If I see it, like, I want to pop it. Yeah. It takes a lot of effort to not pop a pimple. Oh, interesting. Okay. That's, uh, that's tough because, like, scar. you're you're constantly probably looking at yourself in the mirror wondering, like, do I need to, do I need to get rid of that? I check my nose out. I check my nose out and I'm like, mm. there's something there. <laughs> <laughs> there's something there. You shouldn't pop every pimple, but you know. Yeah. Um, I think I uh, one of the worst ones I have is I pick at my um, uh, uh, what do you call these? The when the the cuticles, yeah. the n the nails, oh, like the, the oh hang nails, right? Oh yeah. When the skin yeah, around the... your nail kind of, I pick at that, mm -hmm. and that's really bad. Like I'll be in class and I'll just find myself like picking at my hang nails. I'm like, ugh. Stop. Okay. That's like a little thing. So I've got, I have, um, where is it? I used to, so I used to bite my nails and then I also like when I stopped biting my nails, um, I would still pick at like my thumb cuticle. Like oh. I would just scratch it and scratch it. And, um, but I got, uh, one of these, where is it? This right here. I got like this fidget thing. Oh. oh, does that work? Yeah. So I just like, I'll just play with it instead of, it keeps my hand busy instead of like picking at a cuticle. I'll, I'll do that. It's like this nervous thing that I get. And I, I that's probably, that's why I like would bite my nails. Cause it's just like this nervous, like anxiety thing that I would do. And so then I would like pick at my, my thumb cuticle. So instead of doing that, I got like this, this little fidget thingy and hmm. yeah, it, it helped. I've uh, I've seen those before, in like you know, checkout aisles at like the store or whatever. But I've never uh, really like actually taken the time to use one. I used to do things like uh, twiddle the the pencil instead. <laughs> now they have like pr uh, products on purpose to do that. I kind of love that. Yeah. yeah. I used to, I was I used to bite like the uh, my pens 
I used to bite my mm. pens. I have like this this thing like I I don't know. I always have to like be chewing something or um I have to like be be chewing something. That's why I chew ice. Like I have to like be chewing something or like I I suck on lollipops stuff like that. <laughs> There's a not to get, you know, in a pro pro. But uh there's a funny It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia episode where they talk about one of the characters has an oral fixation because he's always chewing on pens, sucking on lollipops. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much me. Oh, yeah. gosh. Mm -hmm. I uh, didn't want to say that. But, but yeah. But but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not in those words. <laughs> you know, there's, a, there's one habit that really bothered me that someone did. <laughs> They kept on, uh, this is at work and, you know, when you wear scrubs, it, like, it, it, things are loose, but I, I don't know, it must have been the underwear the guy wears, but he always adjusts his, like, pants in front of everyone, and you're just like, can we not do that? Oh, That's you mean that he adjusts himself, not his pants. Yeah, and I'm just like, yeah, we could see what you do. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've never understood, like, when men adjust their package in public like why like do that somewhere else i guess like i understand every now and then guys need to adjust or like shift a little bit but not in the middle of public <laughs> uh, travis yep. scott says this is the most boring stream on earth well dude you don't have to watch and nobody's gonna die on this screen in this <laughs> yeah. screen nobody's gonna Enjoy. get trampled Enjoy so, uh, searching <laughs> all of YouTube for more content if you so wish. <laughs> how, how much more boring can Lewis, we make Lewis it? Says, Lewis says, mate, it actually hurts when you can't adjust. It's so funny. I saw this reel really? of uh, this, this married couple, and she was, like, tricking her husband into something. I can't remember what she was doing, but it was one of those, like, I'm going to trick my fiancé or whatever. And uh, he walked in the door, and, like, he... Uh, he started adjusting and they kept it in i was like why'd you keep that <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> oh was that the and one the, where the, she the, co the comment the comment section was just filled with like dude dude oh. adjusting and they didn't they didn't take it out the adjusting um oh you know what risk it says my worst habit is smoking yeah I, I I still have that from the military. I'll, I'll do that when I when I drink. Um, but I'll bring I'll bring some for you, uh, X-ray, just so you can have your fix. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's making fun of me because I love sniffing tobacco. Yeah. Okay, there's a oh, habit oh, that I wish I didn't do. have. Yeah. <laughs> I love sniffing tobacco. It's so funny because she, like, she's like, "Oh no, I, I, I won't smoke it. I just want to sniff it." <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. I understand. No, it's funny. I, I, it's, it's very endearing. I think it's cute. <laughs> um, and then, what, what else? There was someone, something else that someone had said. Oh, Josh was saying that chewing destroys your enamel, huh? It does. Yeah. Yeah, nail biting is a big one for people, it looks like. Oh, yeah, this was, uh, Josh says, completely shutting down when I'm depressed. Yep, yep, I do the same. I mean, that, I think that's natural when a lot of people are depressed. Mm -hmm. yeah. so. I do, too. I, I don't like napping, but, like, I'll go and, like, uh, I don't like napping, but I'll go and nap. Yeah. Um, I do, too. Oh. Oh, okay, there we go. What's up? I was, okay, here's the thing. <laughs> When I get a lot of people watching my my uh, chill streams like right now, you know, just Lego building and stuff, I'm like, where are these people coming from? Front page on Kick. Thank you, Kick. I appreciate that. Hey, oh, nice. That's I great. See. Oh, cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Well, hello to everyone who's watching on Kick, and that's great, Steph, that you're on the front page. That's rad. Well, I thought I could full screen that, but that didn't work. Which to screen yarn? There we go. That's a little bit better. Oh, the pink mm -hmm. yarn. But does it hurt? Does it hurt when you don't adjust, Mac? I need uh, to know. <laughs> like, when are we talking? Like, maybe at the gym. Um, But you, you find ways around it to where you're like, 
I'll kind of move my leg a little bit to the side to readjust a little bit. Like I don't want to be, I don't want to be picking at my like leg and my my uh, you know underwear like in the middle of the f at the middle of the floor of the gym um, to readjust. But I think maybe the gym might be the only place that like makes sense. But at the same time, I understand like if you're wearing jeans or dress pants that are a little bit tighter, you have to readjust. Um, just gotta kind of do it in a way that's. Uh, not as noticeable. But does it hurt if you don't? Uh, like maybe if it's caught between your legs or something. Like if I'm doing squats at the gym, I gotta readjust, and that'll hurt, you know. But or if like if or you, I don't know. I feel so fascinated. Like, <laughs> a man's anatomy and what they experience. Right? Fascinated yeah. with the penis. You you always have to be aware Bless of what's, what's going on. <laughs> yeah, discreet. That's a good word, Smoo. Yeah, you got to be discreet. Oh, you got to definitely be discreet. Yeah. Oh. It's like, this is public. I guess, well, no, it's not the equivalent of uh, gym thotties. <laughs> gym thotties. <laughs> It's definitely not the equivalent of that. <laughs> um, I was gonna say something. Hello. Was it about Steph's uh, stream or X-ray girls? Uh, I, I was gonna say something to the chat, but I, f I forget. I'm totally blanking now. Um, here, let me pull up X-ray. <laughs> it's... Here's X-ray. There she is. With her 199 hat. Love it. 199. Oh, yeah. We still didn't get to hear Steph's uh, nickname. I'm not, I told, I'm not saying my nickname. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying my nickname. Uh, People didn't guess it, so. <laughs> yeah, no one guessed it, I guess, so. Too bad, too bad, so sad. <laughs> I, guess, I guess now we're going to have to get a price. It's a weird nickname. I don't. I don't want to say it. Okay, M maybe in the in the private uh, Discord once we're finished. I'll, yeah, I'll yeah, ask. We won't spread it. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll put it there. It's a weird nickname. Um. Oh, and and just so, chat, little quick tip. So right now I've got two things of, of water here, right? And you're probably like, Max, you're insane. Are you really that anal about your paintbrushes or your paints? Actually, yes. So quick little uh, thing. So I use like this, My actually it's my Friday night tights mug. Um, but I'll use a mug and then like another plastic glass or something for metallics and non-metallics. And I will assure you guys, if you guys are painting miniatures, 3D models, whatever it may be, whether you're using like Citadel metallics or, you know, any type of regular, like, or like pro acryl or something, um, you will get like flecks of metallic and silver and gold or whatever that shiny substance is on your regular paints if you use the same cup. So just a quick little pro tip. Uh, if you guys could have any superpower Actually, you know what? We'll say any two superpowers. What would it be? Well, re really quick. Virian for 5,000 bits over on Twitch. Says, oh, my Lord. Just, just say the name, woman. Oh, my what? gosh. <laughs> 5,000. Yeah. And then he Jonathan's really like, it. Steph, this is where you can say that they called you hottie or caliente or something like that just so people can back off. I won't do that. Like, no. I don't, I won't lie. <laughs> That's funny though. Caliente. Everyone has a price, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> See, now I have to say it. I don't want, ah. Wow. Oh, you can make a price another 5,000 if yeah. you want. This <laughs> <laughs> sweet spirit really wants to know. I yeah, love it. I know, right? <laughs> oh, damn it. Sorry, I, I baited you into this, Steph. That's my fault. You did. I'll, I'll, say, I'll say it in a bit. 
maybe like as we're leaving the last second of the stream just really quickly say it. i know because then the whole stream is just gonna be them like <laughs> say, calling me that what's up hey boy putting booties in the chat what's up booties oh some peaches booties, like Boot booties or boobies booty oh. i do appreciate the booty mm. i have a booby emo yeah I do too. I added a bunch of kick emotes actually. Love it. Oh. People wanted booty, so I added a booty. Yeah, I, uh, that that yeah. makes more sense. I under I understand that language. Boobies. Yeah. Boobies and gats for sure. <laughs> yeah. 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 Boobs is a good language to have. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is gonna be so cute, Steph. <laughs> <laughs> I can love that. Throw uh, throw some boobies and booties in the chat. Let's go. Yeah. Let's get it done. Hell yeah. Hold on, wait. Where's my where's my where's my tits music? Oh, here it is. I got it. Wait. Um, there we go. Throw some boobies in chat, everyone. Let's wake up. Wake oh up gosh. to some boobs. Throw them in the chat. All right. Throw, throw some them. boobies and some booties. Throw them in the chat. Let's go. Let's go. We want the boobies in chat. Boobies this is why. In chat. Steph is you know, on the front page. Staring at tits helps you live longer. All right. It extends your lifespan, and I'm here for it. I'm ready to help <laughs> you extend your life. All right. It, it's science, and we trust the science. The There's going to be a lot of extension happening in chat. Oh, boy. <laughs> Thank you, Steph, for looking out for us for, you know, absolutely. Because that's, that's really what you, you're, you're looking out for all the men out there who want to mm -hmm. live longer and we appreciate that thank you you're very welcome looking out for you guys okay. <laughs> my chat's doing it too they're even putting <laughs> there you go. boobs and butts in my chat love it right. thanks it's guys. An ass. um yeah if uh i mean i know it's not a Superpower. Well, maybe for Power Girl it is to have like superhuman tits. But she probably get crushed watermelons with her boobies. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. With, with thick thighs, crushing those watermelons. Save lives. Oh. <laughs> oh. You're thick really trying to get this chat worked up. <laughs> 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 Talking about thighs, boobies, booty, boobies. Thick thighs, they save lives. Uh, I've like, there have been times when, going back to Max's, you know, initial question about superpowers. Mm. There have been times when like, I kind of want to like be invisible, you know, like go invisible. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. But I actually think it'd be even funnier if I was able to, cause, cause I'm nosy, okay? Like I'm oh, super nosy. Okay. So if I was invisible, I could know all the, all the fucking tea on everybody. All right? the deets. Yeah. Um. But I think it'd be even funnier just to uh, be able to like morph into, you know, kind of like Mystique. Oh yeah. You know. Whoa. That'd be Are a really. That'd be cool. That would be like the one thing that would like be my downfall if I could morph, but I couldn't. I, I would just like laugh or be weird or awkward. <laughs> All right, no, you should be able to morph into anything, like even the vocal cords. You wouldn't sound like yourself. That's really interesting. So both of yours kind of deal with stealth. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah, because you could. The, the morphing is actually super powerful when you think about it. If you could beat mm -hmm. anyone, think about the, the types of things you could do to influence, like, world leaders, right? Or, like, famous um, actors and actresses. or Like, people in power, you could completely either become them or become people like them. You know, like, the morph thing is really... It, it can get scary with how much power you can wield. Um, awesome. That's true. Well, Mystique did it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, 
And then if you can be invisible on top of that, it'd be like, oh, game changer. What about you, X-Ray? Would you be able to see through people, have X-Ray vision? Oh, no, my power would be um, uh, jumping to different places. Um, preferably, I don't want to, like, I would love to be just like, I want to go to London. I don't want to have to, like, be limited by what I can see. And then I'd have a delivery service. Ooh, so like, teleportation. Yes, okay. essentially. That that's I mean that would probably be the best power I think for me. Nice. Teleportation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It would be perfect, like yeah. you said, for travel. Mm hmm. Like imagine I could just hop to the states whenever I want. You that could would be cool. so fun. You could just be like, hey, what do you, hey Gary, what are you doing for lunch? I'll come down. We'll we'll go have lunch. <laughs> yeah. Gosh. <laughs> Melissa, I want to mm. hang out with you. Just to ever want to visit. Are you? Want to visit. Melissa, I need you to do my hair. I'll be right there. Yeah. I'll be there in like five <laughs> give minutes. Me one minute. Yeah. yeah, give me one minute. X-ray girl um, wants the power of competent driving, says Lewis. Oh gosh. <laughs> hey, hey, I haven't been in an accident in a really long time. Okay. <laughs> that, a really uh, long time. That picture was Morning. so funny. Of uh, Krista put up. A picture of her. Oh, did and I, did like, I park right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> An x ray commented and she's like, looks good to me or something. So. <laughs> yep. It's mostly upright. We're good. Yep. Looks solid. Good work. <laughs> Lewis says, me, no accident. Long time. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, gaming gifted a sub. Thank you, Gaming. How are you doing this morning? Thank you so much. Um, Lewis says, I genuinely go for force lightning because who's going to stop you from doing anything? Force Say that now, lightning. but in a world of a force lot of lightning. superpowers. Uh, Spirian says, I would want regeneration like Wolverine. Ooh, My blood could help one. other people with illnesses and I wouldn't have had my medical problem I have now. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I could have served in the army longer. That would be awesome. Yeah. Regeneration mm. is cool. Maybe I'd say it's like one. definitely one of the most useful powers out of like the X Men crew, mm. besides like the psychic powers. Yeah. Now I wonder, like you know, if you had that right, the power of regeneration, you like Wolverine, he couldn't die, and he never ages. So would that be like? Wouldn't that be? That would be kind of hard though. I feel like you know to not be able to like <gasps> die and then like see all of your friends pass away, like it'd be. I feel like that would be hard. It would be. That's what the doctor has to go through. Oh yeah, yeah. It would be a pretty painful experience, um, or existence. Yeah, because mm -hmm. like you said, you would basically have to watch as all and all your loved ones too. If you would, if you love oh, a woman, love loved ones. You know, if you get into a relationship with a lady or a, a man, you'd have to watch them grow old, and then you'd have to move on. You know some point some point so that's why i think wolverine is just like one of the absolute best characters ever because he's he's haunted by you know not only his past of uh the people who he's killed under the weapon x program but also he's haunted by the the people in his past who he's had to let die just because of old age you know he's lost loved ones and friends and um family just because of the nature of him being able to live forever so yeah he's got so much complexity to his character it's just so rad so well done smooth dj says rewinding time would be cool but i know that would come with some drawbacks yeah click yep that butterfly am I making effect am i making dom's dodge charger i am not i'm doing the batmobile i actually found dom's car dom's car though i want it Dominic Toretto? Yeah, because I did Paul Walker's car. Look, I did his car last stream. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> That'd be fun. Oh my god. I think uh, I always go super basic bitch with this, but for me, I think super strength and um, flight would be just so dope. Uh, Flying would be cool. 
Canada I just, though. Yeah. Sucks out here. But uh, I think if I like if I weren't so basic bitch and I actually had to choose something that was a little bit different, I would choose the the power of magnetism. I would be the master of magnetism. In a world today like this, that's like everything is magnetic. Oh yeah. So think I about how much why. you could control. Yeah, you could do anything. You could even fly technically, because you just push yourself off the ground because there's so much iron and and you know probably metal particles in the ground that you could just push yourself off. I think. I don't know. Wasn't well, that how Magneto flies? I think so. Yep. That's how. That's normally how I've always pictured it. Um. That or just like. What is it? Telekinesis, when you can just move anything? That's also pretty cool. But that's Those like... are like super similar powers too, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they're super OP. Like, <laughs> it's really difficult to defeat someone with telekinesis because they can just like literally just move you. They can just pick you up and just fly you across the, the world. You're just a little speck. Yep. I feel like I missed a whole fucking page. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Do you think you're going to finish in the two hours stuff? I hope I will. <laughs> I hope I finish this in two hours. Otherwise, I might have to bring this on the trip. <clears throat> That'd be pretty cute if you're doing it on the plane and people are like, Oh, what are you doing? Oh, I don't know if I'd be able to bring this through. The... Oh, yeah, because the... That's right. Um, What is it called? scanner is uh there was a girl a guy sorry he fell on this bag um my friend's crocheting bag and the needle of course was sticking up and it went in his butt oh <gasps> oh no he, wow. he was like he was just like play fighting and you know it's just a like a paper bag and yeah well she lost the crochet needle to say oh, pff, i would hope so Wow, yeah, poor guy. Oh my god. Because oh. he was limping off and we're like, are you okay? He's like, yep. And I'm like, is he okay? And then I looked at the bag, I'm like, uh oh. Uh my innocuously named friend Jane. I'm like, Jane. Is that thing still in there? Oh no. Nope. Oh my god. Yeah, you don't you don't recover from that. That's brutal. Yeah. Poor guy. Poor guy. Mm. Took it like Ow. a champ. But, damn, I mean, that's like a crocheting needle, though. That that that, that thing can like a, impale you. Yep. It did for him. Um, it sounds like it did. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> yeah. So that's why I'm wondering. Should I? I'll, I'll I'll put it in check in if need be. Yeah. I love um because Mark's military, it, it it's amazing the stuff they give to military people for like this sort of stuff. Like, they should. Yeah. Like, but the check in bags are free. Do they do that with American Airlines too? Um. Ch uh, checked bags under fifty dollars are free. Or sorry, under fifty pounds are free. So under 50 pounds okay yeah so normally that's not an issue for me but if i like if i uh the dallas trip i think two years ago i forget um when i bought like 10 pounds of comics like it, it was a struggle for me to make that weight limit so uh i had to put uh, some of it in my backpack so when i bought a bunch of books that i like sent to Orlando uh, I put all the books in my carry-on luggage oh my gosh <laughs> it would I, I struggled to put the bag in the the bin above I bet the bag mm -hmm. the bag sorry bag. <laughs> Canadian don't hold <laughs> it against me no never <laughs> so yeah that was uh that was interesting <laughs> Uh, the guy that was sitting next to me on the plane did help me, thank God. Oh, Otherwise, good. I don't think that okay. would have worked. I always love, right. uh, I think it's important that guys help uh, on airplanes put 
the luggage up above. Like I'm all, I always. See someone struggling, female or older or I don't know, whatever. Mm -hmm. I think you should. I mean, I do that with older people all the time yeah. if I have the capability. That, that's why I think it's so it sucks that people are like scared to be nice. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, because even oh, I've didn't. I've had, you know, women, where I'll go, oh, I, I can get that for you, and they'll <laughs> they'll turn around, I've got it. It's like okay. I got just it. Offering, just offering. Yeah, just offering. Maybe. Hey, if someone was like, you want me to get your bag, I'd be like. Sure. Hell yeah. No, okay. <laughs> if I were a girl, I'd be like, absolutely, thank you. Um, but as a guy, it's kind of like, no, nah, I'm, I'm good. I got it, man. Thanks. I'm always appreciative when someone gets my bag because I can't reach it. Oh, yeah. That's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Yes. Especially when shit shifts during the flight. Oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, oh thank yeah. You. What do you guys normally do on flights? Do you read? Do you watch movies? Do you just sleep? Uh, I watch the movies that suck on the small screen that I never wanted to play okay. before. <laughs> yeah, uh, so I'll do no. the same thing. Oh, like man, I watched funny. The Eternals. Oh, um, gross! Well, it was one of my first ones to watch, uh, like a crappy one. And um, yeah, I mean, it. I will say, it wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. It's still bad. Yeah. But. It could have been way worse. Yeah. I fell asleep watching Eternals. I was going to say, yeah, I think it's just boring. mainly boring. Yeah. I don't know how uh, people thought it saved lives. It really didn't. <laughs> no, no. People didn't think that. The cast said that. That was their marketing Weird scheme. Weird things. Like, yeah. when people say, like, crap like that, you're like, are you really that full of yourself? <laughs> yes, they are. They really are, which is crazy. Like fucking that that chick from uh, uh, Rings of Power, the one that played Disa, the dwarf. Yeah. How incredible oh, no. it would be to see a fi finally a black female dwarf, and it's like, yeah, yep. I'm gonna be the first. The first, the first black. Ever. The first ever. I'll be right back. Chat. I dropped. I dropped my Lego. Oh no. Please. Yeah, Please. I dropped it. I went all across the other side of the room. Oh god. <laughs> That's the worst. Alright, to make the legs. I'm making the legs. The legs. The legs. So do you have a yeah. uh, like an instruction manual, X ray? Are you doing this from like a YouTube yeah, video? Yeah, so the Woobles gives you uh like this little um card where it gives well, I guess I'm showing the world. Right. Sorry, Wooble. Uh, like a website you go to with the password and so there's video and um, text on how to make it uh, and the videos are actually pretty good if you don't know how to do certain things uh, but because I know like the basic stitches I you know I could read the instructions at the very least but. that is so cool that's such a good idea good I work love it. Yeah. good work Around. Yeah, so like a slip stitch. I don't know what a slip stitch is. So, I'm gonna have to watch the videos. I'm on bag three. Let's go. Out of four. Oh, okay. All right. Making your way downtown. Walking, Walking fast. fast. Paces Pace fast, and I'm fast. homebound. I'm homebound. homebound. <laughs> <laughs> I get really excited because that's one of my favorite scenes in uh, White Chicks. <laughs> oh, White Chicks. That is like oh. by far <laughs> cinema history. <laughs> I love you. Da -na 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 -na. This is my favorite song. How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Once you go black. You're in a wheelchair. <laughs> I'm in a wheelchair. <laughs> Hold my poodle. Hold my poodle. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I watched that movie. So dumb. Oh but like, think about how sad it is that like if that were done today, people would be like, cultural appropriation. Obviously, yeah. So lame. It's so funny, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, you can thank us later, chat, for getting that song stuck in your head. And I'll miss you. If I could fall Uh, Cause you Don't know watch I it. walk a thousand miles if I could just, just see, see you, you. tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get the real long pause in there. <laughs> oh, I'm doing well. Oh, are you guys excited for Vegas? Who's Us or Chad? Us or Chad? Us. Yes. Kinda. The only thing I'm, I'm not excited okay. about is my early plane flight. Okay. Yeah, that means you're gonna have to like get up at three to be at the airport, at least by four, mm -hmm. right? Mm-hmm. That sounds horrible. Good luck with it, that. It is horrible. Yeah. Not not good. Good freaking luck with that. <laughs> I have a late flight. Now the only problem with mine is it's too late at night because I I think I get in at ten thirty. Yeah. So. I have to um I'm leaving so early and I'm arriving so er really early. My room isn't going to be ready. So I'm gonna have to like put my bag with the concierge and then just go. Just walk chill. around a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Walk See around. Um, you guys wanna hear a funny story about Ireland? That, that same thing happened to me where I got in at like eight o'clock in the morning, but I was so sleep deprived and jet lagged. Um, that I fell asleep in the lobby couch and they had to come wake me up. <laughs> oh my god. No. They're like, sir, oh, your, your no. room is ready now. And I was like, oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> that that probably happens like all the time though. You think I, I so? Bet, I, I bet it know. does, yeah. Cause I, I, haven't ha I haven't fallen asleep in a hotel lobby, but I've fallen asleep on an airplane because I actually, I used to be really scared. I used to be a, a terrified, a scared flyer. I, you know, I, it took a lot of flying for me to get used to, used to it. Um, so I would take, um, um, Xanax. I would take a Xanax oh. to calm me down. Before I, I was terrified of flying. I would, I would cry when the plane would take off and uh like and when it would land i would just start i would fall asleep so i would take a xanax i would only take half because it, it makes me tired but i wasn't able to cut the pill in half this one time so i took the whole thing the whole dose and yeah i took the full dose so oh i was Lord. i ended up like falling asleep and the um the flight attendant was like taking drink orders and i ordered a drink and then i like passed out oh no <laughs> and she had to wake me up to for, to give me my drink and then like I was like thank you and then like I passed out again and they woke me up for trash and I'm like I don't even think I drank my drink <laughs> and then when the plane landed I was I was passed out like I was gone and I was like the last one off the plane because they, <laughs> they had to wake me up oh my lord that's funny oh no if it's any consolation though Steph I like to this day I still hate flying i get so anxious it's bad yeah i get it's i'm ter i was terrified of it for a long time yeah. but it I is very it. frightening because it, it's just not used to giving up control mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and th that's why i understand why people don't like flying but you know i think we all should get used to it at some point it is yeah. convenient well, of course. I mean, it's the only way I get to see my family uh, across the pond, you know? Um, like, if I were truly, if I let my fear take over, then, yeah, I, I wouldn't be able to have such amazing trips um, in Europe and uh, Italy and all these different places in the UK. So um, I'm grateful for those experiences, but, yeah, it... it takes a lot out of you if you're kind of anxious on flights so don't find this peace um i was gonna say oh so i was coming back from a trip um in from from italy 
and uh, it was a long flight. It was one of those like 10 hour flights or whatever. And they gave us, uh, or in, in like the, the front of the seat, they had like headphone, um, headphone cases, but they were like the, these, like these headphones, they were like over the ear headphones. Um, and it was a nice plane and everything. Uh, but my Bose headphones, my like noise canceling ones, I use those on the flight. And my case looks very similar to the cases that the airplane used to hand out its like over the over the ear headphones. So I was I fell asleep and I had my headphones oh, off them. or something and they took my headphones with my headphone case oh, no. and I had I actually had my hard drive in my headphone case for my computer no. too. so I was like I woke up and I'm like these are not my like where is my stuff um and oh, no. we land and I asked them I'm like hey I think you guys might have taken my headphone case and what they do is at the end of the flight they lock it in a case that they then hand into the like company that cleans all the headphones. And I was like, you can't unlock this? And they were like, well, it's protocol that we can't. And I was like, MFers, my hard drive is in my headphone case right now. And y'all thought it was yours. Like you are either unlocking this right now or I am following you uh, like until we f open this thing. Like, like I this was- This is important. This is my crap. Like you stole it. Yeah, I was so yeah. mad. I was like, I, I tried to be really, really kind to, um, to customer service people and to workers and stuff, but I was so tired and mad and I, I just hate planes in general. So I, I was, I should have been more Christ-like because <laughs> I was not, I was being very, very, uh, not, no, I not cooperative. Be so, I mean, it also is like that's your stuff. Yeah, that's right. your stuff. If, yeah. if if you question it, I usually say don't bother. You can wait until they wake up. It's not that big of a deal. Right. Yeah. So, but yeah, I guess they they mixed up my headphone case with theirs. They thought that I had taken one or something, and I was like, nope, these are mine. So. Uh, they finally ended up opening it, but once they did, I opened mine just to show them, like, this is mine. Don't take, <laughs> don't take my things when I'm asleep. <laughs> so, oh well. Did they take them off of your head? No, no, no. I, I had my, um, like, I showed them my hard drive in my headphones case to show them, like, yeah, this is, this is mine. But, um... Yeah, because that was the other thing. Like, why didn't they check inside? They didn't open the case to make sure that it was theirs. Oh, well. Uh, Josh says, and I agree with this, when you travel overseas, go touch grass immediately. Like, take off your shoes and walk in the grass. It helps. Don't ask me why or how, but it does. That's kind of like it how... Help with what? I think sickness and anxiety. John oh. McClane does it. He does it on the carpet, baby. Die hard. Yeah. So, yeah. He hey, if it works for John McClane, hopefully it works for me. Facts. All right, this thing is going to be hella cute. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Hella. Mm. Do people still say hella? I do. Well, well yeah, you. I'm old, though. I'm feeling like... hella good. I am old. I understand. No, you're still a young spry thing. Thanks for trying. <laughs> hey, Arian says Steph Disbrew said he was going to be in Vegas. No yes, way. He is. he is. He is. He's gonna be at our hotel. No <gasps> way. <laughs> oh my god. That's wild. Yep. So he uh, he said on D and D. So I am not doxing or anything. <laughs> that is so, wild. I him can't and wait. Aiden Paladin are coming. I'm excited. Oh, mm -hmm. oh my gosh! Yep. How awesome! So, well, Disparu, if you're listening, can't wait to meet you, dude. Disparu! Oh my oh, god! I, I feel know. like I need to bring him up. <laughs> Bring him some biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I already got plenty of those, all right? 
Uh, we need Nick to the Green for one. <laughs> one ninety nine says, "Xr, you need to watch Kung Pao Enter the Fist." That sounds dirty. No, I don't know. Should I? It sounds dirty. <laughs> Enter the fist. The fist that enters that you. Song... Ew. What? <laughs> exactly. I told you it sounded dirty. <laughs> I'm so sorry for interrupting. Enter mm. the fist, huh? Uh, what was I gonna say? Shoot, yeah, I'm I'm blanking now. But, but that is uh that is really cool that Disparu will be there. That sounds a lot like a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I'm excited! I'm excited! Yeah. You get to meet a Brit. What Brits? Ah, Disparu. It's big. Oh gosh, I don't think any of the well, no, Drinker made it to Orlando, so yeah, I kind of count him as a Brit. So he's more of a Brit than Az, right? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mauler's the actual <laughs> British person on the show. Absolutely. And then Az is from New Zealand, I think. Could be wrong. Um. Yeah, he's not a real Brit, right? Yeah. Um, I. So it's almost. Well, it's almost noon for you guys, I believe. Um. I'm going to grab another cup of coffee, but I'm probably going to stay an extra little, like, 30 minutes. Um, but uh, I, I don't know how you get what you guys have this afternoon or what y'all are up to, so. I really want to finish this turtle. Is it already noon? It's already noon. God dang turtle, it. Turtle, turtle. Just. I want to finish this turtle before I leave. That's why. Just say to uh, to your Sunday Funday crew, just be like, hey, guys, I'm I'm doing this turtle right now, okay? I, I need to finish this turtle. <laughs> need to finish it! <laughs> I'm pretty close, though. I think in the next 15 I should finish it, to okay. be honest. Okay. So, I can chill. I know, because, Steph, you usually go for a little and while, I usually right? Go for, yeah, I usually go for a little while after. I did the same uh, thing. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish the turtle, and then I'll go. But, uh, yeah, go get your coffee. Enjoy, relax. I will, uh, we'll hold the fort. Hold down the fort. Chat, be nice to our beautiful young ladies um chat is always nice i love chat good good i um the reason why i said that you're a spry young young thing but. is because uh i was at i forget where i was the other day but someone thought that i was 36 and i was like oh what? oh i'm 30 but all right all right that's fair ouch ouch yeah <laughs> so but then again when i was in my mid-20s all my young marines thought that i was 32 or something so i don't know to be fair i will say because you're very built that might be contributing to that mm, like maybe maybe well, i don't you. know uh potentially i th someone and said young that... people don't have that uh, commanding power as much yeah maybe? <laughs> uh, maybe i guess so i appreciate that i mean because I thought they were just like, oh, yeah, your face looks like it's old, you know? <laughs> no. But, uh, but, yeah, I guess it's how you conduct yourself, too, right? So, mm -hmm. um, so it yeah. could be that. I mean, I don't know, because obviously I don't know who this person is. Right. Uh, but, yeah, no, you're right, Jonathan, Stevie, poor Max. They're, they're being ageist toward me. Towards me. Totally ageist. <laughs> totally ageist. Totally ageist. <laughs> I'm a baby. And you are. Yeah. You're cute and you're adorable. <laughs> oh, gosh. You're a little baby. You want to keep, you wanna keep going? Oh, <laughs> little well, baby. Our, our, as you guys continue, I will go get coffee. You don't now. need coffee because you're a baby. <laughs> you're a baby. You don't need no coffee. They just don't need coffee. Do you, do you regret saying the story now? <laughs> 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 I regret just... even going to Vegas now. I know. <laughs> Speak baby talk to him the whole time he's doing that. <laughs> the rest of the stream. Yeah. Remember that time yeah. Max said he was a baby? Yeah, I do too. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <He's a little laughs> <bloody. laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Smooth, you have a baby face. He's turning 34 and people think he's in his mid-20s. 
enjoy it while it lasts and then people think you're old one day card you when you get alcohol <laughs> i'm a little salty from that but you know that's fine i get carded Uh, Tara Crystal says, I still get, hello, young man. I'm thinking I was born in the 1970s. You must have really good genes. Very good genes, if that's the case. Jeez. Lucky you. Lucky you. I don't know. I think um, because you're Spanish and Asian is like hit or miss. Sometimes you get like the really lucky genes or Mm -hmm. looking young. Yeah. And, uh, then there's black people who like literally do not age sometimes. They don't like, age. Age. Black don't crack. Don't. It's true. Yeah. It's very true. Have you seen have you seen like those TikTok video those TikTok uh the TikToks and the, the reels on like, you know, this is my mom and this is my daughter. Oh. And they look like sisters. Yeah. They, I remember one set of patients that I had. It was uh like a daughter who was of age, like she's past 18, uh, mother who looked like she was her sister and grandma, which looked like the mom of all of them. I'm like, this wow. is insane. Y'all have great genetics. Yeah. So. Wish. I wish, I know, awesome. I wish. So yeah, Jonathan says, I haven't been carded since I was 18. Wow, do you have a beard? That makes you look like older or something? I know you're tall. God, I miss the days I was carded. Life was simpler back then. <laughs> it was such a girl thing to say. I miss being carded. No, I miss being carded. Or you get, we get excited when we get carded. Mm-hmm. I still get carded. <laughs> I think I'm that young. I don't know, kid though. Back, back. The baby's back. The baby's back! The baby's here! Alright, have a milk? good night, everyone. Bye. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I was just about to say, are we done with baby talk? But no. 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 Uh, the baby. Oh, no. The baby's here. He's by it. Um, the baby. We love our baby. Oh, wow. Interesting. Okay. So I'm looking at seats right now for um, this movie I have to watch for Chris's stream on Monday. Um, oh, the Omen movie? Yeah, the Omen. And uh, surprisingly, Sunday morning, mm-hmm. like it's uh, like the middle. All the middle seats are all taken. Wow. All right. Really? Then. Yeah. Like How? ten, Diggity damn. ten, ten, ten thirty, and one thirty all have seats that are taken. So wow. Because normally I like, what's up? Good for the movie then. I know, right? Um, yeah, I, I've heard good things. Um, I see people yeah. talking about it on Twitter. And they seem to like it. Yeah, well, but what an odd. Because I was, I was thinking like, oh yeah, I'll go at 10.30, right? Like, we'll finish up on here and then I'll go, you know, do a, like a morning horror film. No one wants to watch a horror movie on a Sunday morning. But <sighs> I guess I, guess I was wrong. So. Yeah, gosh. People just want to get scared. Or maybe they just so. want to be entertained and they heard good things and then they go out to see a movie like that. Yeah. Chat, what, what about you guys? Do you... Are you? Do you go? If you guys go do, or <laughs> sorry, I need my second cup of coffee. If you do go see films on the weekends, yeah, do you do the morning shows? Do you try and do the evening shows? Do you try and get like dead center? Um, yeah, I try and normally go like uh, one row a little bit farther back, and then like dead center. I don't like to be too far forward. I like being dead center and I like uh, as close as I can get before the screen is out of my periphery. Mm. Okay. So I've gotten good at certain theaters knowing which like rows because the back row is not the best row. No. Because I want to make it like because some theaters are smaller too, right? So mm-hmm. you kind of compensate for that. Um, but yeah, you definitely have to sit in the middle 
Anyone who sits at the side, you're crazy. I sat on the <laughs> side last night when I watched Twilight. But did you have a choice? No, that was yeah. all that was available. Yeah, that's fine. If it's all that's available, I think I, I'm The theater okay. was actually surprisingly packed when I went to see Twilight. I didn't think that it was going to be that packed <laughs> for mostly Twilight. Women but it or... was. It was. Most, huh? Mostly women or? No, it was like girls bringing their boyfriends and you know, oh, they were, they were, it was a mix of people. It was a good mix. I'm shocked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I was like, Marvel. ooh, I'm gonna go see Twilight. I'll probably get a really good seat. Nope. Well, th this is actually showing how um, old cinema, even if it's Twilight, uh, is doing better than new cinema. The oh. new cinema, yeah. For oh, sure. yeah. Not that's even the case. And that's Twilight, guys. It's not like it's like groundbreaking or anything. Right. You know? <laughs> I, I understand what I'm saying when I say I like Twilight. <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah, no, it's not even a not even a competition right now. Um, no one wants to see the garbage. Hey, you want the? I think you guys talked about it on Friday, like the prequel, requel, <laughs> the Nyquil, uh, <laughs> like all these movies that are just uh, reboots, rehashes, reimaginings, revamps, re tellings re everything re everything it's fucking abysmal and like no one wants it anymore but i don't even know if people wanted it in the first place um no well i think some people thought the idea was good at first at first maybe yeah. no, we all did we all yeah, did like oh my god it's so exciting they're bringing this back and mm -hmm. then when it, you're like ooh, i'd rather dead please thank you yeah. so um yeah, I, I think that's why even uh, Alan had said something like, a, like a great movie today is something you would consider to be like, meh, like any period of time elsewhere in like film Absolutely. cinema it's history. The contrast yeah. of like old stuff to new stuff, like you, it wouldn't compare, but uh, because all everything's crap, you, you're like, oh, it's not that bad. Yeah. That's bad. <laughs> that, that bad. Uh, I guess it's <laughs> Louis said don't Louis said don't underestimate the power. Oh, don't underestimate the pool of Twilight to girls even today. Total dog shit, but you just have to lock it in and watch it with them. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I think the, the best part of last night was like, uh, you know, we were laughing at it, but people were like quoting the movie, you know, like saying the lines with the characters and... <laughs> love that oh <laughs> so, it was so funny do you guys do that when you watch like harry potter or anything oh yeah for sure not my not her not my, me. No, my. <laughs> yeah <You. laughs> so dumb <laughs> you have to do it in like a super over exaggerated english accent yeah not my not am i my. My. Yay! Yo. <laughs> we'll say that to Disbrew, and we'll be like, how's our English accent? I knew you were going to play that spirit. <laughs> uh, what was the... Um, shoot. Now I'm blanking on what, what I was going to say. Oh, well. But yeah, it's uh, it's kind of a tired trope, and I think people are sick of uh watching sick of watching things that are su super inconsequential and just kind of meh um yeah and plus uh hey like the mummies coming out on the oh, big screen yeah. again like hell yeah i will watch that nine times uh or ten times before i see anything else that's like coming out recently yeah I hope it's good. I really do. But a mummy? Sad. Yeah. Wait, you've you've never seen Brandon Fraser's Mummy X-ray? It's coming out soon, like a new one. Oh no no no! no, no, no. no. I'm sorry. Yeah, they're oh, re they're okay. re-releasing it. Yeah. Oh, re-release? Okay, never mind. I I heard that completely wrong. No, I've seen it. It's so um, scary. 
Scared. I remember as a kid, it scared the bejesus out of me. Yeah. That was like the start of the Rock's like movie career too, wasn't it? Scorpion King. Yeah. Or was that the second movie? Uh, Scorpion S King was the, the second movie, I think. Yeah. And then he did a spinoff. But yeah, I, did that kick off the Rock's career? I thought I, I, he had done part? something. I think it else. did. It might. Di it did. And then like he did. Oh, he did a really good movie that I actually kind of like. Is Walking Tall. That's a good one. Yeah, I like that movie. And then he just started starring in like generic Safari Walker. Man, mm -hmm. you know, Jungle Book and or not Jungle Book, uh, Jumanji. Jumanji, Jumanji, and all these other, and then Fast and the Furious and all that Jumanji. stuff. Jumanji. And then. But the uh, the Asian market just love him. They just eat his stuff up. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah, the rundown. He did the rundown, too. That's oh, I think the, I always think those are the same film. Walking Tall and the rundown? Yeah, I don't know why. Thank you for the membership. Uh-oh. Ugh, going to be fun. What is y'all's favorite city? Of all time, ever? ever of all time that you've ever been to oh. in your entire life, for all eternity, until you die. Oh, this is a question. Oh my God. Mm. I don't think about this. I feel like I haven't visited the city that I think is the best of all time. Oh. Dude, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say. Ugh. I hate saying it, but I had like some of the best time. San Diego. It just has like su such great weather, yeah. and there's there was quite a lot to do there too when I went. Um, That's fair. Yeah, I I loved the weather there. Oh my gosh. There is so a lot nice. to do, <clears throat> and it's really gorgeous there. Never been. Oh, I'm, I wonder. I don't think I've been there, but uh, I I'm trying to think what the warmest climate uh, I would like is. I sewed the head on the wrong side of the body. <laughs> oh, no. oh no! I was about to sew it on like the left side because you can see the little tail. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> X ray gives you this dude, it's just like an abomination. A ray turtle. Yeah. <laughs> Steph is like, thank you. <laughs> Cats or dogs? Which do you prefer? Ooh, oh, cats um, all day. Dogs, absolutely dogs. <laughs> but you can tell by the animals we own. <laughs> yeah. do, you, yeah, I know. Right? do you consider Rocky and JoJo dogs or like puppy, like purse puppies? Uh, I consider them dogs. I okay. think Mark considers them more puppies. If anything, out of the two of us, because like I won't worry if they're like running around doing like crazy stuff. I think he does the worrying way more mm. out of the two of us. Yeah. Oh. So, mm. Yeah. Which is fine. He loves them a lot. Oh And yeah, he still calls he them does. their pup, his puppies. So. Yeah. He he's Aww. very protective and fatherly of them. So. He likes them. Mm -hmm. Dumb, so I don't know. What about you, Steph? Oh, I'm I'm a dog, dog person. Rude I'm a dog person. Rude. I get it. You guys just don't want to admit how cool cats are, but that's all right. I I'm a dog wow. person. Wow. I don't mind cats. I don't mind cats. I really don't. But I I cats own dogs. I've cool. had a cat in the past. I've had two cats in the past, actually. Oh, that's cool. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, no. I've had two cats, um, but I've, I've always just been a dog person. My uh, my black cat, uh, we na I named her Shadow, but my black cat had babies. Ooh. Oh, I love when your little baby yeah. kittens. Oh, the kittens mm -hmm. are like the sweetest things ever. 
We gave them away. Oh. That's sweet that you guys gave them, though, to, you know, families that were, uh, would probably be able to take care of them, so. Yeah. Well, like, my dog, my dog and my cat got pregnant at the same time. Oh, my so. gosh. A bunch yeah. of pregnant animals? Yeah, a bunch of babies. <laughs> Yeah. Well, like they were, they were indoor outdoor. That was uh, probably, like, uh, yeah. That was like the first and last time that I ever did that. Yeah. Um, especially with a cat, but yeah, I was an indoor outdoor cat, and yeah. And one day it just never came back home, so I, I was oh. pretty crushed. Sad. I hope the cat lived a long life. I I don't know. That's why I said that's the, like the first and last time I ever did that because I hated it. Um, yeah, I, I think cats are. I, don't know, I just feel like they are so self de- self reliant and very dependent on themselves. Um, but yeah, they're very independent. Yeah. Creatures. But um, they can still love on you though, and I think that's a good mix. Um, because I'm, you know, whether it was the Marine Corps or whether it was, you know, school, I would just feel so terrible if I had to leave the dog, like, at home for, like, hours at a time, and then you have to come home and you have to walk them, and sometimes, like, I don't know, they're still energetic, and and you can't get them to, you know, you want to try and give them the best life that you can, but... I don't know. I just always, I would always feel bad if I had a dog and wouldn't actually be able to give it a good life. Um, whereas the cats are just... it needs. That's why you get two, right? That's why you get two. They have their friends. Oh, but that would be like out with. that'd be a nightmare. Then they destroy the house. No, no, no way. No always. Way. No, 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 no. No way, no way. I think How it depends on the personality of the dog uh, as well. Yeah. Herschel's leg says, did Jay open the door? What's up, Hokies? Huh? Oh, no. Did Jay, open, Jay open the door? <laughs> oh, no. That's so sad. Oh. All right. I am finished. Uh, Jonathan prefers dogs. He says, large dogs. If it can't kill me, I don't want it. <laughs> Thank you, did you? Large dogs. I love it. Okay. If you want this stuff, you can have it. If you don't want it, I won't be hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Of course I want it. No. <laughs> At least his head is not on his butt, so that's good. Yeah. That is actually really yeah. cute. <laughs> <laughs> I like how his eyes are on the side of his head. It looks great. So cute. Totally. That's pretty adorable, yeah. Okay. I guess that ends my stream. Um I'm gonna go eat because I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry. and you have a stream right after this, so go do your thing. Maybe we'll see. I, well, it depends because I thought QBG worked on a, uh, something last night. A so. video, yeah. Video. I'm trying to find your stream, Max. If you have my stream, I'm going to read you. On the YouTubes? Oh, yeah, I the can't read you. I'm not allowed to read you. Oh, do I have to turn that on? I have to like yeah, enable yeah, it. Yeah, you have to turn it on. Mm, okay. Well, do I'm you sorry. Do you yeah, or no? I can do it later, too. Um, I'll, we can do it later because I know I know you need to go, but um, okay. but I, I appreciate I you uh, trying to raid me, yeah, because I'm I'm probably gonna hop off here in just a little bit. I've got some super chats I'll read and then we'll we'll take off. But, okay, yeah. thank you, Steph. Thank you, Max. And does anyone have anything they're doing tonight that they wanna just shout out before I leave? Keith, uh, oh, I have Talk Nerdy on Mara Mara Jade's channel. It's her birthday, so we'll be Ooh. doing a birthday stream over there. Nice birthday yeah. to her. And then, and then I'm live later on on Kick and Twitch, playing. I think I'm gonna do Mario Kart with the chat tonight. Spirian suggested it, and I think that's what I'm gonna do. Ooh. So if you guys have the Mario Kart game uh, tonight, come hang out with me. We'll do Mario Kart. I play with oh. the chat all the time. And Smooth gifted a membership too. Thank you, Smooth. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. yeah, that'll be fun. Um, for me, I, th- I will have a Max's Man Cave, but I'm not sure if it's going to be a solo one tonight, if it's just going to be me, or we're going to have the guys on tonight. But uh, mm-hmm. yeah, so we'll, we'll be doing something tonight later, so keep your eyes on, out for that. 
Um, but yeah, definitely yeah. go celebrate Mara and Steph this afternoon. And uh, X-Ray, if you're doing anything, we'll keep our eyes out for uh, Sunday fun day. Sounds yeah. freaking good. I love you. See you guys in Vegas. Love you too. In Vegas. And see you. Yeah. See you in a few days. Bye guys. Bye. Bye. Um. Are you ending too? I will be taken off here. I do need to read a super chat from Spirian. Oh my gosh, dude, this is so yeah. generous. Thank you for the twenty dollars. Let's get some air horn. Um, but yeah, dude, seriously, twenty dollars. That's really gracious. Very, very kind of you. Thank you. Um, he says I haven't been to see a movie in the movie theater since 2019. Wow. Yeah. You know what? I believe that, and I I don't even like. I I don't blame you for it. Um, and the rise of Skywalker. I'm tired of actors and millionaires talking trash about fans. I refuse to play to pay my hard earned money on a bad product. Amen, dude. Amen. Here, let's get some applause for you. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, Spirian, I completely agree, brother. Uh, I have been to the theaters. Um, you know, I had to watch Madam Web. That was a nightmare. But, <laughs> like, uh, and then I watched um, Dune. I watched Northman. So I have seen films in the theaters recently. Uh, I watched the Lord, the Lord of the Rings trilogy in theaters, but that was the um, uh, the Fathom events that was put on. Uh so yeah, brother, I, I do not, I, I can completely see why you haven't been to the theaters and I respect that a hell of a lot, honestly. Yeah. So, um, cause yeah, why should you pay $25 for a ticket for a movie that's just going to insult you from people who hate you? Right. So, um, mm -hmm. when you could just wait for it to come out on streaming, but, uh, Totally get you, Spirian, but thank you again for the $20. And then Psychotic Mongoose gifts a membership to Keone K. So thank you so much, guys. I appreciate y'all uh, super chatting and sending memberships. Thank you, Mongoose. Seriously, man, like you guys continue to support us uh, on these Sunday mornings, and we, we just love it. And uh, the constant support is so rad. So, um, yeah, and Spirian, you know what? I won't hold it against you that you're army. You know what? You're you're all right. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, I was stationed at uh, Fort Sill uh, for a good good amount of time, so I, I, I've got some army friends, army brats out there. It's all good. Um, but yeah, uh, Steph, how's your how's your Batmobile coming? It's going good. I'm finishing up the third bag. And I just have one more bag left and then we're done. Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, one bag left. I'm looking at my guy and I'm thinking I'll finish him on, on a later date. Mm -hmm. But we shall see. Because... Uh, well, actually, you know what? I'll put a ink on them, and then I'll and then I'll dip out, and then you guys can have Steph to yourselves. I promise. Ooh. I need a wash brush. Um, when was the last time that? Because uh, I know you said your favorite city was San Diego. Um, yeah. When was the last time you got to go down there? Oh, uh, man, like three years ago, I think. Okay, so it's not yeah. it's not too long ago, but still. Yeah, but uh, that's the, the one thing that I remember about San Diego was like the incredible weather. There was so much to do there. Um, I I just had so much fun. Yeah, I believe it. It's a it's yeah. a really nice area. Now it's gotten a little bit, eh. um, but that is with any major city. I feel like so. Have you seen um that new like weird Joker movie? Um, the one with uh, Lady Gaga. No. The one that's out right now, I can't remember what it's called, but it's weird like oh, they said it was like an ode to a Joker. It's like a trans Joker or something like that. What? Yeah. Like it's in theaters right now. 
It's like a woman playing a Joker. I don't know if it's in theaters. What the hell? Mm hmm. I just, I don't, I don't I understand these called. decisions. That sounds so dumb. Called. Yeah. Um, so yeah, no, I have not seen that, but do you plan on going <laughs> to see that? No, I don't want to ruin it. What ruin if, uh... I feel like Joker is already going to ruin Joker for me. Yeah, Joker I... 2. Yeah, 100%. I'm not, uh... Not looking for... Well, I don't know. I can't say I'm not looking forward to it, but... I just... Why ruin such a good thing? The first film was, like... Honestly, I don't know how you feel about it, but I thought it was brilliant. I um, loved the first film. Yeah. It was, like, honestly, one of the better things I've seen. It's one of my... Like, even with how depressing it is, it's mm -hmm. still one of my favorite movies of that, you know, within the past few years. Um, yeah, I loved the first film. It was really good. Yeah. It was a great standalone film that didn't need to be turned into a sequel. Yeah. I mean, Hollywood, they, they, like, they didn't even have any faith in that film. Like, nothing went in, you know, no promotion, no real money went into making that film because they had no faith in it. And it made a billion dollars, and then they were like, oh, let's make a sequel. Now, yeah, we, no, now, now we're we can, interested. Now we can capitalize now off of it. Yeah. Um, not capitalism, but capitalize. Capitalism is good, but... <laughs> uh, but no, yeah, you're right. They're just going to ruin it uh with with the sequel um even if the sequel is good it's one of those things where i'm just like i just don't care like why why would you even want to do a sequel to a perfect standalone film um which i know a lot of people like that's how i feel about the x-men animated series too it's like I, I get that it's good and i understand that people like it just why did we need this so I only watched the first two episodes of it. I haven't watched the rest. I haven't caught up. Or isn't there only one? One. There's like three episodes out right now, I think. Um, I, I think it. they're on three or four. Three or four? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I haven't caught up yet. But, um, and yeah, like all my friends are like, yeah, I actually really like it. And that's awesome. I'm glad that they do. But I'm just, I just, I don't get why we needed it. So. Mm -hmm. We didn't. Yeah. We didn't. Uh, I, so I, last night when I got home, I watched, um, this movie on Netflix. It's called, I think it's called the good nurse. Hmm. Uh, and it's about, it's about the, the nurse from, oh, I don't even remember where he's from. Uh, it's a nurse serial killer and it's his, the, it's coming from like the viewpoint of his, one of his best, his best friend. Um, it's such a great movie. It's so like, uh, it's not like super action packed. It's very, it's a very chill movie, hmm. but it has, um, oh my God, hold on. I forgot to oh boy. turn off extra girl stream. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it's an old stream that's on. I just noticed. There we go. <laughs> You're like, wait, why do I keep hearing extra girl talk? <laughs> I was like, wait a second. <laughs> but you said the good nurse was uh, was actually kind of good. It was, yeah, it was really good. I've heard, really good. Uh, I've heard of it before, but yeah, just never. Yeah, it was really good. It had me, good. it had me intrigued. 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 It was intriguing. But I know the story of that of that nurse. He. So he is a serial killer nurse and he used, he uh, killed people in the ICU. Oh, you um, know what? I think I've, I listened to a podcast about this. Yeah. So I know, I know his story. Like he killed people in the ICU and he killed them using, um, what are those ba IV bags? Mm -hmm. He would inject it with, uh, with insulin and with uh, digoxin medication and the mix of those two medications would kill people digoxin can kill people on their own on its own and so can insulin like if you put way too much so like that's how he would kill people and i remember like in his trial like i watched a, a i listened to a podcast that went into detail or whatever 
and they're asking like how did you choose your victims and you know he's like oh it was a mercy killing or whatever but it really wasn't it wasn't mercy killing at all because he didn't know who the IV bags were going to to go to right he would just inject it in the IV bags in the storage room and he wouldn't kill them himself like just he would have like random nurses on the hospital wing in that who worked in the ICU they would be they didn't even know that they were delivering this med medication to the patients and they were actually killing them they had no no idea that that was happening that's right um yeah yeah because it, it was it was a really good movie because i remember the podcast talking about just how like kind of sick and demented it was that he wouldn't choose he would just kind of randomly and he killed like hundreds potentially because of how yeah. many he mm -hmm. like um how many of those bags that he injected with the saline or insulin or whatever it is you want to call it um yeah and he actually he worked at like nine i think nine oh man how many hospitals nine 16 i can't remember he worked at multiple hospitals mm -hmm. all these hospitals had suspicions around him but because they didn't want the hospital to be liable they would just uh let him go you know fire him for like really weird reasons like right. the the one that the hospital that he finally got caught at fired him because he put the wrong dates on his uh application mm -hmm. had nothing to do with his work had no nothing like that it was so just like a weird reason to fire him um and then like uh he when he finally got caught he was only charged with like i think murdering 27 people but they said because he was in the nursing industry for so long it could be of upwards of like 400 people oh, that easily. he killed yeah. while he was yeah while he was a nurse it's such a great film if you want something really it's it's slow paced it's not a fast paced movie or anything like that but um well, and it's from the the point of view of like his his best friend who actually did interviews um after he was convicted and everything um, you um, also um or you also have to think how scary it was or how sad it was that you know, um, a lot of those people, from what I, th from what I remember hearing, and I could be wrong about this, but a lot of those people weren't even going to die. Like, I, like their, no, their yeah. injuries were super minor. They were just in mm -hmm. there, and they were gonna get better within the week, and then all of a sudden, dead. Right? They would die. Yeah. And um, like I, I remember hearing about one guy who just had minor, um, or not minor, but he had severe enough burns that um he was just recovering and like he died and like as a family member i'd be like there's no way that our dad or our brother whoever it was died because of burns that he was just healing from right like i just it makes it makes me so mad that these people who did nothing wrong or who were just recovering um just gone so mm-hmm but yeah, crazy. Um, so he was caught though, right? And he's in prison or did they execute him? No, he's in prison. He's serving like 27 life sentences or something like that. Yeah, see, all right. Chat, don't get mad at me, but like for people like, like him, what, why, why is there no just death, like immediate death penalty? Like, So to avoid the death penalty, he took a plea deal in which uh, he pled guilty. Yeah, so he would avoid the death penalty. Like there was no trial, no nothing. He just he just pleaded guilty to avoid the death penalty. That's usually how these people do it. Yeah. Um, like they they have no problem, you know, passing judgment and killing other people when it's time for when it's their turn. They're cowards, and they end up like, you know, taking a plea deal, whatever, in order to to not get executed themselves. Damn. Yep. Well, there you have it. Yeah, it's it's like <laughs> I was uh, I was watching a medieval documentary the other night, and um, it was talking about how they would treat um, you know criminals. <laughs> there were some of these like some of the ways that they were like you know uh, people who would steal or people who committed theft would have their hands cut off, and <laughs> I was just like, should we start doing that? <laughs> obviously right? not but like at the same time like that seems effective <laughs> uh, 
I'm not that psychotic, but I just, you know, with how much crime there is right now, like, the police aren't doing anything, citizens aren't doing anything, government's not... The government are arresting grandmas instead of, like, actual murderers and criminals and thieves and stuff, so... I know. It's just... It's sad. But I know that makes me an extremist, but... Oh, God. Everything is extremism nowadays. Yeah, right. Painting little miniatures for Warhammer is extremism. Yep. Uh, dude, Spurian, you are crushing it today, man. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> I played a bicycle horn. I'm sorry. I, 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 meant to, I meant to play the DJ air horn. So I, I went to click the... And instead it went... With the bicycle horn, so <laughs> sorry, Spirian. But uh, yeah, for five dollars, man, he says Fort Sill has the U.S. Army Field Artillery School. Are you are artillery, sir? I was a Cav Scout and an armored crewman on an M1A1 Abrams tank, dude. Hell yeah. Um, the M1A1 is just uh, peak, you know, peak like military, uh, American military. Um, creation like that tank is so rad uh, fast as hell but still packs a punch um, I was artillery yes so I was a field artillery officer and uh, yeah we went to Fort Sill for about a year uh, training for that so but that's cool man yeah thank you so much for the five dollars and thanks for um, telling me about your background as well uh, those tanks mm -hmm. are gorgeous we got to see some of those every now and then but um, I got to ride in one of them uh, but we never we never really worked with tanks as an artillery guy we always worked with infantry so um, uh, and then, J uh, Lewis says you shouldn't be allowed to avoid the death penalty to be honest also I think the method of offing criminals should match the severity of the crime mm. I'm an atheist but I sometimes hope there's an afterlife for people like that to suffer for all eternity. It's crazy. Yeah. Like I, for them, for him to be able to like take a, a plea deal. I don't like that, but yeah, he it's... caused so much suffering for a lot of people. Oh yeah. And, and think about how many people it was not just that were killed, but then the families, like the generations of people mm -hmm. who were affected, right. By mm -hmm. his actions. So, um, yeah, uh, it, thankfully, I, you know, there, there's justice for those people, at least in my faith and what I believe. Yep. Um, but then we also have Esky691, dude, great to see you. He says, hey, Max, been a while. Hope you're doing good, buddy. And hello, ladies. Uh, Esky, thank you so much for being here, man. Yeah, it has been a while. So great to oh. see you here and, uh. I'm glad that you're uh, joining in for this morning. How awesome. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, Risk It says taxpayers shouldn't have to pay to keep uh, someone like that alive. Especially when okay. you're like, you know, when it comes into child child territory, like children. Um, if you're doing mm. that stuff, like, <laughs> there's a reason why mm -hmm. people on Twitter say straight to the wood chipper, right? Mm -hmm. but um sure. all right well i have applied the wash onto the armor um i think the only thing i have to do left is the gold and the marble ivory pieces so i think we'll call this guy good um but yeah, Steph, thank you so much for hanging out with me for a little bit longer. Um, yeah. Hopefully you can get your your bat bat mobile done, your bat wang. Well, I am almost done. Oh, perfect. Okay. I am almost done. I'm actually excited. <laughs> I'm so jealous of your hat. I'm sorry. I, just <laughs> <laughs> I love this hat. It looks so good. Damn. Chat I wish I knew who sent it. Yeah. Who sent it to Steph and whoever did? Can I have one? Yeah, I wish I, I, wish I knew <laughs> We should be matching. I want to bring one to Vegas. I wish I knew that, but yeah, 
Yeah, the, it doesn't say. Usually, usually um, it'll come with like a little a paper from Amazon, and you know it'll let me know who sent it. Yeah. Oh, it was it was gaming. Oh, gaming said it was me. Oh, how cool! Thank you. Nice. It was gaming. Thank you, gaming. That's awesome, bro. Now I know. Man, that Batmobile yeah, does look really good. I know. It's gonna I'm look uh, It's gonna look nice next to Paul Walker's car too. Mm-hmm. Um, well chat, I will let you guys uh hang out with Steph for the rest of the morning. So go over to her kick stream or she's also on Twitch. Uh, and then you guys can also find her on Mara's stream later this afternoon for Talk Nerdy to Me for Mara's uh, birthday stream. Uh, if I'm unable to make it, though, Steph, let Mara know I say happy birthday. And um, Are you guys yeah. doing anything fun, like $50 shots or anything? I, I Probably. I have no idea. <laughs> probably. Um, probably. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm actually... getting ready for Vegas, so I need the training. <laughs> I was about to say, I need to start kind of prep, prepping my liver now so that I don't die. <laughs> yeah, I've been prepping my liver. <laughs> Ooh, I'm get, my liver for Vegas. Yeah, get some of the alcohol enzymes in there just to, you know, <laughs> kick start it a little bit, but Yep. Um All right, we'll chat. Max, would oh. you like to know my nickname? I was I was just about to say I'm going to text you once I am <laughs> off so I can get your nickname. <laughs> <laughs> uh because I I don't want you to have to um say it on stream so well spirian paid 50 dollars to know what my nickname was wow in, in in a it wasn't in high school it was like grade school oh my god middle school i got the, grade school what the fuck middle school uh that i i don't know why i got this nickname i have no clue where it came from i don't remember why the kids used to call me this. St Steph waited until X-Ray went offline to tell the name. <laughs> uh, I, I I don't know where this nickname came from. I can't remember where it came from. Um, but we had three Stephanies in my in my middle school class, and I went to private school. So because I went to private school, our classes were very small. So it was a class of thirty-one people. Like it was very small. Compared to you know middle schools right now who has like hundreds of kids, mine was only 30, 31 people in this in the class, and out of those thirty one people, there were three Stephanies. So we all had they the they all gave us nicknames, um, so that way you know if they called one of us, like we would know who who they were talking to. Uh, and I don't know why they gave me this nickname. It's so fucking weird. <laughs> three, I two, just one, know that that's. The chat's gonna start calling me this. Oh, so boy. my nickname was Mine was Gonzo. <laughs> <laughs> so... Oh no. Why oh gosh. It's so funny. I like were you a were you a fan of Gonzo's or something? No. Just all of a sudden they were just like, Yeah, you're Gonzo. They were now. Gonzo, yeah. Just little they just started <laughs> elementary school kids being mean. It was middle school. Or middle school kids, yeah. It was middle just, school. Just being jerks. Yeah, they called me Gonzo. Oh, I have boy. no idea where it came from. I don't know why. I don't know why they used to call me that, but that was that was my nickname in school. <sighs> yeah, okay. Jonathan says, and I thought my nickname was bad. <laughs> Just putting Gonzo. Lewis says, ammunition. Oh Let's boy. fucking go. My nerdy Gonzo. Thank you. Yes. My they used nerdy to call Gonzo. Me Gonzo. <laughs> I, I don't know why. I ha It was just, that was what they called that me was in just, school. It was, it was either going to be you or one of the other two Stephanies that was going to be Gonzo. Yeah. I don't, I don't remember the other girls' nicknames. I just remember mine. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, what did the other like? Did the other girls get good ones or bad ones? But I can't remember. Uh, oh well. I wish I could remember what they were called, but yeah. 
Yeah, I can't remember what their nicknames were, but th they gave us all nicknames because there were three Stephanies. Well, damn. Um, and I actually, I would play basketball like for, for during recess. Um, and I during during that time was when like they first called me Gonzo. How odd. Yeah, I I don't know where it came from. Wouldn't Gonzalez be more appropriate? Well, like. That, I don't know where, why Gonzalez would be a, appropriate. Why would they call me Gonzalez? Yeah, That's right. not my name. <laughs> yeah. That's not my name. Oh, well. Well, you know, kids kids come up with dumb stuff. Uh, in college, one guy wanted to call me Elvis because he thought my last name was Prestley. And so he was like, what's up, <laughs> Elvis? And I was like... That's a, that's a bad nickname, man, but thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> so some people try to come up with good ones and it just like, it fails, so. Ooh, do those tires move? Mm -hmm. Like the wheels move on the, on the Batmobile? On the car? Yeah. Yeah, they'll, they'll move, see this one. They're, they move. Oh, that's sick. Oh, okay. I thought that it was just kind of like stagnant, but all right. Um. All right. Well, now I will finally go. Now that I've heard the coolest nickname in the world. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, chat. Don't give her too hard of a time. It'll it'll be it'll be fun for a little bit, <laughs> and then and then you'll be like, yeah, oh god, for a little bit. But yeah, hey, thanks to Spirian for all the super chats today and everyone who gifted memberships, uh, psychotic and everyone. So thank you guys for supporting and. Uh, yeah, damn, that $50 super chat with a drop in the gonzo. That's big. That's big time. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Spirian. <laughs> <laughs> You're like you, Spirian. begrudgingly saying thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to take off. Um, let's see. Yeah, Steph, have a great rest of your uh, stream. Have a great rest of your day and uh i will see you in a few days all right yay <laughs> all right bye bye and uh chat i will let you guys go as well i'm gonna get out of this discord call there we go um but yeah guys no thank you again for hanging out tonight uh, or th this morning what am i saying uh but yeah come by tonight come hang out um well, I'm still debating on the topic for tonight from Max's Man Cave. I want to try and see if it's a good time to talk about the uh, the passing of Ed Piscor, or if we want to talk about um, something a little bit more like newsworthy or not newsworthy, but news relevant within like this past week in pop culture. Uh, but I haven't really gotten a chance to talk about Ed Piscor and his passing, so I do think that it may be appropriate for me to at least speak a little bit about it. Um, so that may be, that may be something that we're going to do tonight for Max's man cave. So other than that, have a great weekend guys. Uh, thank you so much for being here and yeah, look to hopefully see everyone in Vegas soon. So, uh, I will see you guys tonight, but if not, see y'all in Vegas and, uh, we'll talk to you soon. <laughs>